Hey, y'all, don't forget if you're watching the replay, replay, always fast forward through it. Hopefully, y'all like what the little new beginning now. Yes, how y'all doing today? Hello, Miss Jackie Angela. How y'all doing, baby? This just how it was going to be. That's just how it's going to be. Right? That's how we're going to be. Right? And we're going to start off. Well, we're going to finish off with part two from yesterday, right? <laughs> we're going we to definitely, definitely finish with that from yesterday. Right? Now, where was we? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. But I'm not domino. Don't forget, this is Curtis. Credit goes to dots. D-O-C-Z. Check him out. Part two. I'm up now. Let's go. Face with a Mr. Potato Head nose going on and on about. What? Bonjour. I am Jean-Pierre Babyfoot. Chick. Not gamble going on the He about to be going to jail and losing his whole fortune over a female. Even after Tupac and Biggie. Fair use, fair use. They shot up the club. You got a victim that got shot in the face with a Mr. Potato Head nose going on and on about how Diddy shot her in the face. But that wasn't good enough to put him behind bars. It took for Cassie to convince the public that he's filthy. Mm -hmm. Is that? She with a Beyonce fan with a cowboy hat brim out of this world. And she don't want to have a freak off with Diddy? So the country man got more appeal to her than Diddy ever had, even though he got 360 waves. She yeah. could have been racist this whole time. Hold on, man. I need the right music to greet my people. That's a tough ass woman right there. And she's watching my video. Shout out to you. QS is here as well. Big Mar, I see you chilling. Miss Crumbler, I think we had a new member. L let me find them. We got. Taiwan Akapotupu, all the way from Hawaii, watching the video. Miss Crumbler don't join the channel. She's blessed. Well, and ever since she first met him, and Ryan Leslie probably had to coach her and prep her and tell her, you got a job to do, soldier. Leslie was born in Richmond, Virginia, and relocated homes frequently due to his parents' jobs at the Salvation Army. And he, he gave gave Cassie to Diddy like she was some hand-me-downs. Like she was some hand-me-downs, y'all. He learned how to play the piano in the cell. Leslie grew up around music, playing cornet as a child in the Salvation Army Band. He taught himself how to play the piano. The Salvation Army. Now she got a campaign. They got a campaign to bring Diddy to justice. This was his dream ever since he was a child. Everybody know Leslie is credited with discovering R&B singer Cassie in 2004, who signed to his next selection record label. They took the next selection lifestyle off of it. They want to leave that part out. He's a member of the Hitman, also associated with Diddy. He discovered Cassie and gave her the puff. Two years later, Leslie wrote and produced her 2006 debut single, Me and You, which peaked at number three on the Billboard Hot 100 and received platinum certification by the Record Industry Association of America. He did so 
on the entirety of her debut album, man, and his own hey, recording hey. career. Leslie signed with Universal Motown Records. Universal Motown. Wait a minute. Hold up. Welcome to Diddy Motown. Diddy got his own. Diddy and Motown partner up and Ryan Leslie is on the payroll. He doing all these deals, not knowing that he going in deeper. They dragging him in just so they could take everything he got. They do a deal just to get close. Love Records, Motown Records. And Cassie been stirring the pot the whole time. Hold on, man. Do you want to go to France? Travel Modern in the French BA350. This can't be real. It can't. You mean to tell me that Caddy been working with them folks all along? It's not she, she knows that Sean Combs has it and she wants a piece of it. That's the first and most natural defense. So Cassie's legal team, how are they going to handle questions about why she stayed in the relationship as long as she did and then waited so long to report the allegations? Absolutely. That's a tough issue because when you're in a relationship for that long, sometimes things build up where you go in and you're being wined and dined and everything is good and gradually things get worse. So if I'm on her, to, if I'm on her uh, team as her attorney, I'm making it clear that that relationship started out good, but gradually it got worse and worse to the point that she was caught in this vicious cycle. Uh, she was caught under his thumb and almost didn't even realize it until she got out of there and some years went by and then she began to process and heal and say i went through things that i did not uh that i did not uh, agree with no 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 what's up my brother it was a deadline they had to hold out he ain't have enough time to fight it that's why he paid the money so fast hey, nay, he nay. the deadline was gonna kill him he had to get it out of the way. They, it's a cat and mouse game. My you know. brother Chance. He gave her the money the next day. He couldn't wait. If he wouldn't have paid her in that deadline, it would be 50 times as worse. It caught him at the everything started to drop at the same time they've been plotting and planning on this man for years ain't this the one that married the black chick ain't that him they don't want him to be royalty no more they want to throw him to the pits with the rest of them ain't that the one didn't prince harry wait a minute Hold on. Prince, Harry, Megan. Oh shit, that's him. They want to outcast him. He got a black wife. They want him to take the L with Diddy since he want to party with Kanye West. You want to be seen. You love those blacks. You want to be in the club. That's what you want to do, Harry. You have black friends. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? You know what? You could fall with his dirty ass. It's, he's a man. And he lived his life just like everybody else. He's motherfucking ro Hold on, I need another beat for this. No, no. No, no. Prince Harry is royalty. He don't live like the average man and never live like the average man. They throw roses at his feet when he walked down the street in London. He's a prince. 
of a noble stature. They got statues in, in Britain and Rome and all this shit. He's a big deal. He's like a Viking or something like that, man. He bought home Shanquilla. And they damn near shit it. And when she said she ain't like the food, they almost fainted. She had the nerve to watch Love and Hip Hop in the Royal Palace. And she didn't think the guards was observing her every move. Now they want him in the pits. With the likes of Diddy, Meek Mill, and the rest of the booty bumpers. This man is going to be next to Sue. Cassie is suing Diddy for $30 million. And this man want to get a chunk of that change. They saying that he's going to sue. Y'all know Diddy a pansexual. He'll have sex with anybody. It don't matter what they look like, what they smell like. This guy, he's thinking about it. He got sexual assault allegations. Truck drivers and whatnot. He groping on people at the truck stops. All the Dusties of America has decided that they will want a, a hefty chunk of that $30 million. Sue Diddy and get $30 million. Hell yeah, he touched my ass. Everybody got a Diddy story to get a little piece of that bread. Fat black men can get in on it. Usually this is something that's only for women. But since men is allowed to get in on the craze, everybody from every gas station, man, turn that shit off, man. I do apologize. Don't blame me. Blame the beat. Blame it on the boogie. Oh, my hey, man. I hope y'all enjoying the show. I'm half asleep. But we got to get this done because Cassie a fed. She been one. Player two, the Cobra King is in the building, man. P2. Where P1? He, he liked the second controller, I guess. I don't know. Shout out to him. Robin Freeman. The Lemon T. I like that. Um, Y'all got me sounding like Diddy. Everybody in the house, especially the members. Tough Woman QS and all the, where the other members at. Miss Crumbles. I hate to be skipping all, stepping all on y'all heads and stuff, but you know. Black Polo, you a day one, so, you know, it is what it is. Thank you, S. Let's get back into the video, man. Let's do it. Y'all ready? We're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to switch it up real good. Let's not do this show. Oh. Shark Flex Style, the powerful hair dryer that's always just a twist away from a versatile multi-styler. No matter your hair type, style... Ex -trafficking. Why they do that? Torture? Mind games. I don't think any of us have healed from that. Former Danity Kane member Aubrey O'Day is joining other ex bandmates standing by Cassie, the singer who was famous. Hey, Bonnie! Good to see you, love. Welcome. To all of our stories. Wait a minute, man. Look at her face. You gonna blame Diddy for that? Why they do that? Every alligator look like an alligator. Why they do that? They want to wait until they get all reptilian and talk about mental abuse. Like they ain't abused themselves when they was getting that work done. I know Diddy ain't pay for that shit. She was perfectly fine. I guess she was trying to look more black. She looked like the Grinch. And this ain't no disrespect. All of them, hold on, man. We got to take a detour. A quick little detour. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all need to see this. Okay. 
she used to look like this. And oh, ain't nothing wrong. She was a that. beautiful young lady. The moon chin and everything. She was perfect. She was a fine. She was good the way she was. What not wrong with her, man? Then she started doing shit like this. Oh my goodness. What in the hell? Why did she? Did Diddy tell? He must have was talking to them girls real bad. You ain't never gonna be shit. You don't look like Cassie. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. You want sex appeal? Ain't gonna work like that. You look like me. Like, let me be Diddy. You, I don't want no female Diddy on my team. She either, she must got a hell of a makeup artist or some shit. She went from Ray John Rondo to Doja Cat. How that happened? Diddy must have was talking about them real bad. Like, don't nobody want your trashy ass. Let's be real, man. Don't nobody want you. The only reason why you're here, you know, because them people, they, they, shit, they watch the show. That's the only reason. Don't smile at me. What you wanted, the Thundercats or something? Why you smiling like that? I know Thundercat on my team. You can go somewhere with that, that shit. Lion O in the building. He probably talked about her real bad, man. She went out there now, the good God Almighty, man. He probably, man, get her ass off the screen, bro. Look at her legs. Check up from the neck up. <laughs> he made them bitches work. <laughs> like RuPaul. Like, y'all gonna have to get this work because this y'all here looking fucked up. Like, do we look better now, Diddy? What about now? Like, okay, I like that, Daddy. Okay, Mommy, I see you over there. You looking right right now. Okay, I see you, baby. What about now, Diddy? <laughs> Hello, oh, Johnny, shit. baby. Like, Dawn, is that you? Yes, it is me, Diddy. <laughs> like, okay, take that, take that, take that, take that. <laughs> like, Aubrey. Like, damn, girl. Like, you like me now, huh? Like, yeah, take that, take that, take that, take that. Diddy's angels. They went all out for, for the damn diddler, man. And how come nobody giving me credit for the diddler? It's all niggas made memes. Okay. And they ain't put Sean Blazerton on the jacket or nothing. I need to get my shit copywritten. They all, they got Diddler t-shirts and they ain't said nothing about Sean baby. Blazerton. That's fucked up. Like the video ain't get a million views and <laughs> the shit ain't been doing okay, man. They ain't right. That's Negro here nor there. Do y'all feel my pain? Tough woman in the building. Palman is kicking it. He's leeching double bun hookers. Yes. And uh, tough one. We all in the building, man. I need to turn on that. Wait, put that other shit back on so I can turn it up. Yeah, start it with that. That be. Yeah. Charge me up with this beat. Look one more time. Give me the charge. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, yeah, that's it. I'll switch it to the other one. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. He's so crazy. Yeah. Can you believe it? Cassie working with the mother. They said she been working with the feds and she ain't stopping and she not the only one. Hey, it's Cyrus. other women that know Diddy. They working with the police. It could be anybody. He don't know who to trust. They could have flipped all his friends in Hollywood and he just now finding out. 
in the main one they flipped he don't even have a clue that they got a bullet in the chamber hold on free radicals are everywhere protect I'm yourself trying against to tell you, boy i'm trying to tell you this entertainment world i keep telling you he is one of many he is one of many hopefully y'all enjoyed yesterday and i like to say thank you to all my members we had an exclusive exclusive show today for my members yes we did don't forget if you want that exclusive uh videos that's for members only and some members yep they've been watching him for years and some people say he was telling on himself right <laughs> I had some videos taking he was telling on himself. Don't forget, members, if you didn't check out today's video for the members, you could always watch it, just the members. Members can go check out the members only video. For some exclusive, you're gonna have to be a member, right? Don't forget that. And the video, the little skate the video I played at the beginning, that comes from Miss Bonnie Rose. Oh, I'm in love with her channel. If you want to relax and just let the music flow, baby, baby, we're going to drop her link a little bit later. We're going to drop her link a little bit later. When I go to the intermission and I go back to the skating thing, I just put my own music there. She got more of that good stuff. So when y'all want to relax and stuff, Bonnie Rose is the person to go to. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. This is what I just seen it one time and I'm like hooked, right? But in the beginning, for the couple of minutes, you will see what Bonnie is up to. If you want to see the whole videos, go check Bonnie out. Ah, thank you, Cyrus. Thank you. He done made it rain up in here. Cyrus made it rain. I know we got to do the rain song. Cyrus made it rain. Ah, uh ah. -uh. He made it rain. Ah, uh ah. -uh. He made it rain. Ah, uh ah. -uh. He made it rain. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Appreciate that. Yeah, shout out to Bonnie Rose. And. I tell you, these entertainers, we don't know how long they've been watching Diddy. Or are they really watching Diddy? We don't even know. We don't know no more. We don't know. But we're going to continue this show. And then, y'all know we're going to do an open panel. After this show is over, we got op open panels. <laughs> Matter of fact, when Nene at? How you feeling, Nene? Nene, bring your butt up here. If you're feeling well and you're feeling up to it, you know what to do. Oh, we're gonna be showing more of your stuff, Bonnie. Don't worry, baby. I got you. I got you. I like your work. I like the time you put into it, and I like what you do. But that that credit goes to Body Wells. Now we're gonna continue this because we got more to go. Y'all better be up for it. We got more to go. And don't forget on across the street, on the T, Tony across the street. Hey, my baby, Nene. I want hey, to hey, sugar. I just <laughs> want to take you, you. Oh, you sound so good. Oh, my baby. Hey, I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you. Hey, Chad. What's up, family? Girl, so far, so far, so far. Even though this is all for entertainment purposes, it's all alleged for entertainment purposes. Yes, yes, we yes. Home, but we're not saying Cassie is the is what the people will. We just we just say, and it's crazy. We were just talking about this before he did this, but I was having a conversation with somebody about uh -huh. this, and I said they send you, sing, they always send you like devil always send you. What you want? What like? What's your weakness? Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, I'm weak surprised to mm -hmm. find out she she been with the peeps, and I don't know that I blame her either. We don't know if she was the peep, but I like how you breaking down how I keep telling they always come from somebody. Remember, she did come from 
Ryan Leslie. Yes, she did, but I didn't yes. know that was his squad. Hello. Yes. We we fail to realize or acknowledge just how many people be sent to certain people and places and things. We saw mm -hmm. the same thing with Nature Boy and others, so this is not surprising. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now let's go. Now I'm gonna stop it again. Stevie J is uh -oh. stuck to Diddy like a glove. He could be the next undercover. I think they probably flip Stevie just to keep <laughs> a eye on this man. And who he end up getting faith on the golf course and doing all this shit could be a main informant keeping watch. And the only reason why they don't got him in cuffs is because they got Stevie J on his ass. He can't trust nobody. And he don't even know it. This is like the end of Pablo Escobar. Hold on, man. Hold on. Y'all need to see this. When Pablo went out, it was foul. He had he he was out there just like Diddy. He didn't have a friend in the world. They was taking on the run. He got fat. The feds was all over his ass, raiding his homes and everything. Same thing. And it was the news reporter, the chick he was dealing with, that did him dirty. And when they got him, they took a picture of his, like he was a hog. They took pictures over his body like he was a hog. Mm. They hunted him. Mm -mm -mm. They knew everything he was doing. I remember that. Yep. And I got to be careful speaking on this man, but damn, it's way too many similarities. He had the dirt bike like, like Meek Mill. They was out there on them dirt bikes, just like Meek Mill and Diddy. The coincidences is just crazy. They doing Diddy just like Pablo. Okay, cut to be, cut to be, cut to be. Okay, that was good. Let's keep it moving. Okay, listen at this, y'all. The singer. Hold on, run that back. Run that back. Torture, mind games. I don't think any of us have healed from that. Former Danity Kane member Aubrey O'Day is joining other ex bandmates standing by Cassie, the singer who was famously fired from Diddy's Making the Band. Tells ET today there is a lot more to all all about our stories you fired me why i was willing to uh was expected of me mm. hold on what hold on wait a minute what was expected she wasn't willing to. So did he expect his staff to do shit? Like they got chores? No, man. So all them legends, that was with Bad Boy. They put up with his shit just to get some shine. Mark Curry, you might as well just zip it, man. Zip it. He was the main one on his roster. Ain't no telling what he did with that mouth. Ain't no tell. And if you talking the way you talking, and you willing to tell on another man, you disgruntled like mm -hmm. an ex girlfriend. Mm -hmm. you I'm gonna talk about it. What he had y'all doing? And why y'all so scorn? They act like they mad because Diddy don't want to freak no more. <laughs> What's up, Queen Kish? Told me I stank and told me to uh, get the fuck out of his house. And that was the last I heard from Diddy. I can't believe it. I can't even go to sleep. He said that I stank and he didn't want to see my face. Ooh. I'm going to tell everybody in the dog.
Look at this man. I just don't understand it. He's grown, he grown, and they mad and they talking about Diddy. It had to be sexual. They not gonna say it was, but with this man's pedigree and the, the type of shit he on and what he like, and he a deviant, he'll freak anybody. It don't matter if you ugly, you old, you're fat, you're skinny, you stank. He a pansexual. He'll do it with anything. And y'all talking, y'all going on and on about the zesty man. You got a gripe with the zestiest man in the, the zestiest man in the world. And you've been griping Aww. for years with a zesty man. What do that say about you, bro? That's for all of them. All the people that have been talking about this man, Gene Dale, making a whole career with Diddy name all in his mouth. What part of the game is that? It had he had to be with it. He got too many zesty stories. He know where the butt plugs was hidden. Ew! He seen it. Ew! He been around the cupcake fruit Ew. loops. Fruit loops. The whole box. Mm -mm, not the plugs. He even was babysitting Diddy kids. <laughs> he babysit that man kids. The plugs, Nigga. girl. The plugs. Ain't plugs, no sis. Amount. He... Dude. Come on, man. Let's be real. Every last everybody involved is a weirdo from the old school to the new school. From them old gangsters to the new gangsters. They all with the shits. Your favorite rapper, the whole entourage, the backstage at the concert, they all with it. Been with it, and that's how it go. Hold on, y'all. I'll reconnect with you next week. Uh oh. Uh oh. And she went and got the blind on mine. Since, from, since forever, man. Switch it up a little bit. No, that ain't gonna work. Nope. It ain't gonna work. Nope. Since forever. Since the beginning, man. This ain't the it always been zesty. They got lipstick. They this is all through the eighties. I can't even listen to it no more. I didn't know. I thought they was just trying to be weird. I didn't know it was really on that time. All the run DMC, all of them. You got to be. Walk this way, talk this way. <laughs> the only way they was going to be able to play ball on the music scene is if they would walk this way and talk this way. And you know what's so Just crazy? Just like the rock stars, man. Let me tell you what's that, look, at, look at homie. Look but at walk homie. This way, talk you would have thought way. that was Prince. And people, the people never really listened to that song. It was that is a babe song or an underage song. Mm, and I, talk about it. it. Listen to the words, right? I'll probably get y'all the words, right? Walk this way. Then we're gonna get right back into that's what y'all to see the words really quick, right? Because you know we gotta go off into stuff. But yeah, we're gonna go right into the lyrics really quick, right? Now we're gonna go, we're gonna come right back to this, right? But we're gonna do a walk this way. See, it's different okay. when we hear stuff differently, right? Yes. Uh, I'm always here for these lyrical girls. breakdowns. Okay. 
Okay. So now I'm to walk this way. Okay. Now, backstreet lover always hide underneath the covers till I talk to your daddy. He said, he said, you ain't seen nothing till you down on a muffin. Then you're sure to be changing your ways. I met mm. a cheerleader, was a real young bleeder. See that? All the times I could remiss. Because the best thing of loving with her sister and her cousin only started with kiss like this. Seesaw swinging with the boys in the school and the feet flying up in the air, singing hey diddle diddle with the kitty in the middle of the swing like you didn't care. So I took a big chance at the high school dance with the Missy who was ready to play. Wasn't me, she was fooling cause she knew what she was doing and I know love was here to stay when she told me to walk this way, walk this way, okay? School girl, sweetie, with a classy kind of sassy, little skirts climbing up way to the knee. There were three girls who keep saying the word young. You don't have to keep saying young if all of y'all in high school, <laughs> right? Exactly. You have to keep saying little girl if y'all all in high school, right? Which means y'all all the same age. If you're saying young, that means you ain't young and she young. Why is it a distinction there? Three young ladies in the school gym locker when I noticed they was looking at me. I was a high school loser, never made it with the lady to the boys told me something I missed. Then my next door neighbor with the daughter had a favor. All right, so he out there messing with all these little young girls. So I gave her a kiss and it went like this, all right? So I and it just repeats itself, all right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But in that song, he's messing with young girls, all right? Real talk, a lot. If we go back and look at the lyrics. On a lot of the songs we came up on, we'll see that over and over again for real. Mm hmm. We, ladies, boy. Hey, Ariel. Welcome. What's now up, Ariel? Get back into, that's why she taught me to walk this way. You're supposed to walk the other way, right? <laughs> exactly. The other way, other way. She didn't tell me nothing. I mean, he couldn't tell her no. Right, and don't forget, this is all fair use. This is all fair use. This is from, cause girl, I was so out of it yesterday. I had to cut this short, right? So I don't know what part y'all seen yesterday, what part y'all didn't see yesterday, but <laughs> I don't know, cause I was like part two tomorrow good night. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every last group. Look, look, look. Look at them. Look, look how they standing. This it, uh, this is the music industry in a nutshell. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at him. They look like, what about me? Like, they surely want me. Nope, they want me. I think they want me tonight. He's standing in the middle, like, bitch. They want the captain. Like, they want me. Dude, I'm sure. Nope, they want me. Nope. Not tonight, fellas. They're looking up. No, they're looking over here. Fuck you guys. I see all the attention right here, baby. We got to work these beats out. Get together. The Zest Fest always been intact. Not the Zest Fest. <laughs> so I put in black bands. Where are the black bands at? T talking heads. This look like a racial dysfunction right here, man. Like they only got us in the group because they know we'll do anything for the money. Like that's right. You guys will do anything for the money. And they know I'm struggling. I got eight kids, man. I got eight kids. Like your problem, not mine. So let's do jazz. 
Like, I guess, you know, I play the drums good and everything, but they ain't paying good. He looking like, I don't know a fucking instrument, but they're paying amazing. Like, I'm the a &R staff. I'm Judy. Like, I'm just here for my check. <laughs> and the sister, the black woman, she looking like, I do every damn thing. <laughs> From the keyboards to the vocals. If it wasn't for me, y'all would sound like shit. Mm. Let's be honest. Yeah, this you why motherfuckers don't even it. know music. Like, sure don't. I'm getting my check. That's all I do. <laughs> <Get paid. laughs> hey, yeah. so That's so hilarious. This ain't right. He looked like he's still on the playground. He look like walk. He might walk he's on one, back hard in the back. Ball. He sure does. He look like walk back hard. Welcome I'm back. He definitely does. Welcome back. Welcome like back. Dad. Welcome, Welcome back. back. You know, <laughs> He got a bogey like, man, whatever. He don't even care. Man, I'm not about to keep on going in on these groups, man. I'm just I'm just trying to prove a mm -hmm. point. Uh, yeah, I could go. Where's the black bands at? That's what I, the R and B bands. Jimmy Hendrix was the best to do it. Yeah, now he really, gone. And this? everybody took this place. Look, 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 look. look. Un 50 unfashionable but brilliant that, uh, bands uh, take the unfashionable that time cruelly forgot they cruelly forgot and we did that on purpose trouble funk uh-huh shit was trash oh that's it taking it back troubling. you put that shit on you instantly turn turn that shit who oh. that who that i'm gonna get you in trouble man you turn this shit who on your ass gonna be in jail <laughs> It's prison funk. Mm. Trouble funk. Trouble funk. You want to be a hard ass? That's why we forgot about the damn trouble funk. It's prison. Mm -hmm. I know somebody jacked up old boy size, bro. Cruelly. The wooden stuff. Hold on, get that ad out of here. What is that? Get that shit. He about to put that. Y'all see, he about to put that whole mic. That's what they don't want y'all to see. He about to deep throat them. Damn. Like, like he got skills. The you know he holding that mic. Oh my God. He got skills. He better have a he hell of a voice there. <laughs> Especially he with his mouth wide open like that. Times, what type of zesty? <laughs> <laughs> you, Mr. Wooden Tops, Mr. Wooden Top, better have to have a hell of a damn voice. All on right, like that. that is the one photo. He, he better, oh, ooh, he better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it's, I'm not saying that don't hold a bob close, but. Usually the mic needs to be like a little bit close. He just got it like like he's like he got then he with the long neck. I'm just I'm just saying. Put it this way, he looked like he waiting for a download, and that's not the word. That's not what that's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he looked like oh That's why I can't stand. I can't stand you. Mm -hmm. That's not it right there. <laughs> oh, no, that's the wooden top. He was wooden his top, all right. <laughs> right. He was waiting for some wood on his top. What uh, the <laughs> you said to my bush babies, the math ain't math, and, and y'all need to get these likes up. That's what Jackie said. That's the boss of the chat. And boss, like, she said, can y'all, can we get like, could two nice people? Two nice people in the bushes. And can two nice people in the bushes hit that like? Could two nice people in the bushes hit the like? Don't forget, share this out. Uh-oh. Share this out. And don't forget, we're going to do this. We're going to be here. Then we're going across the street right after this. Because I got to catch up. Because yesterday, after that earthquake, girl, and I didn't even, I must have knew something was up. Because I didn't get no rest. So I must have knew something was up. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it it, it was nerve wracking for those who you know were in the tri state area for sure. Right, because you know we got these tall buildings. We don't need for none of them to fall off. Right? Nah, for real. For we real. Don't need for not near one. Not you know, near one. Every to since off. our tower travesty, anybody got time to play? I'll take the power, anything else, but God forbid we don't need no buildings falling over. So Facts. and then when you sit down and, and you live and this sucker shake, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Hold up. Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get back to Mr. Mr. Wooden Wooden Taps. <laughs> Shit, is that? See, we we just as funny, Doc. We just as funny. <laughs> get the fuck exactly. out of here. Uh oh. Hold on. The bo, 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 wait, it gets worse. Bo, bo, bo. <laughs> all the black people, you know, it's us now. It's our time to shine, bitch. <laughs> the replacements. Fuck Michael Jackson. Dude, we're here now. What's up? What's going How on? this dude got a mullet and an afro? <laughs> <laughs> Trash can Santa. Oh, he like he not liking the mic at all. Oh, one loved it. This like, one don't like it. Form on Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> That's it, dude. We don't do other days. <laughs> what you say? Yeah? Free tacos, new show. A mullet and a hey, uh, hello, afro. Mark. Trash can Santarinas, <laughs> man. <laughs> Hey, Miss Rye, she made James it. James Taylor. Corey. Hey, Miss Rye, what's up, this? <laughs> the men they couldn't hang. What the fuck? Like, nope. As soon as they seen our junks, they changed their minds. Mm-mm-mm. I couldn't hang me. My daddy's lawyer, mother's doctor. The fuck they're going to do to me? These some wild names in uh, right. of these bands, man. man. Daddy's governor, mother's senator. Yeah, he thought about hanging me for shit I did fuck hell. Father certain. Yeah, that's 14, 16 year old girlfriend. Like my dad's the president. <laughs> We're just the men they couldn't hang, though. Rip, Yo, rip, who homeboy in the back? <laughs> a little, a little, a little black dude in the dark, in the black. They, 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 how they got you, boy? How they got you? And then he's doing that little up? hand behind the pocket. He's doing that little hand behind the pocket. He don't know they get ready to get his ass right. <laughs> exactly. Boy, hey, one of these, they get ready to get one of these is not like boy. the other. Uh huh. They get ready to get you. Thank you so much, Cyrus. It's always good to see you. And now you're part of. I got Appreciate you, Cyrus. Tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow morning, maybe it's going to, if I show, it's going to be members only. I'm sorry that they do not send out, uh, they do not send out uh, notifications for members only. But mm -hmm. so I don't know how y'all know, but always check for members only stuff. I just did one this morning. Always check. The whole boy in the back do not look like they're gonna hey, you you next. Look at them. They plotting, they plotting, they plotting. Where you at today? <laughs> Where you at? We need to know. Throw a smoke signal up or something. We need to know you okay. Girl. <laughs> the girl, she look a lot of she look a little safe, but whole boy in the back, because of the one in that trench coat. Like, yeah, he I'm, wasn't safe. <laughs> <laughs> he they still ain't one. safe wherever he is <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, man, homeboy, you if you still here, wink, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go find him ASAP. What's the name of the group? Girl, Tell we got to find him. I don't think we can be able to find him, sir. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm telling me he ain't to be. He ain't gonna be found. He, he is missing. Yeah, <laughs> am I a for real? He he is missing. He missing. <laughs> he missing. He is me, missing. Let her, let us, from what we see, one loved the mic, one didn't like the mic, right? And then now this one coming up missing, right? And I think that they put that girl up to him, right? 
Because the one, because his hand in his pocket like that, and that trench coat says it all. Says it. He looks like he's being way too friendly with himself. Mm -hmm. No, that's a, uh, one of them little secret code things, right? It has a meaning, and the coat is in it. The hand is halfway in with the coat, right? Uh. On, on, on our uh, on our um, members only, we're going to go into some of them things as much as we could okay. without without no problems. But, right, uh, right. But you could tell they like, yeah, we're gonna get all your intellectual, all your intellectual property, and you coming up missing, right? <laughs> Let's go. Anik, damn, where Bosky? They got a Bosky out in the back. Like, shout out to Bosky. Like, when's Basquiat coming? Mm. I don't know. Oh, that's the rip. Look like I'm rip, having sex rig, with everybody. Rip, man. rig, and like, panic. Oh, yeah, he panicking. He, he probably getting it. He R.I.P. He the diddy of their group. For real. He R.I.P. Let's go. That one what is that? just keeps us together. I was trying to say it without saying it. Look, he pointing to. He was pointing Red. to the same guy. Oh, wow. Oh, it definitely ain't the look. What the fuck? Sound, uh, I'm with old dude. dude. He said the sound definitely ain't the lick. Let me find out. Nose. Let me find out. Worry about my eyes. <laughs> so what I look like the white Robin Harris. So what? I know I look <laughs> Not like the white Robin, Robin Harris. Harris. But it's about the sound. Let me show you this, man. I thought that shit said crackhead. It said track tack tack head. Oh, that's even worse. His breath that's must even be. Oh, oh, that's much oh, worse. Breath. That's what oh, he Lord. said. But, 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 but it gets worse. They don't wear no deodorant. <laughs> they just natural. <laughs> you holding your lips like that for? Why you do that? Why you do that? Mm -hmm. Why you do it? Why you do it? Like that that I'm gonna want to punch the cameraman in the face for that picture. Tonight. Not tonight. But, mm. He looked like mm, I done lost all my teeth with this microphone. Like <laughs> <laughs> that man, bro. I had that microphone hitting my mouth too it's long. My mouth Put hurt. A tic -tac in his head, man. <laughs> the tack heads. Who made you do that? The audience throw tic tacs at the damn stage. Why his head looking like a whole tack? She, she <laughs> opened his mouth uh -huh. and start singing. That's when everybody throw them damn tic tacs at his damn head. Don't forget in the hour. Tack head. What's we're gonna uh Smith and Mighty go across the street. But Mighty, they got you too. Like Let us know. Still here. I know. I was going. I thought he was like, Luda too. My record. You sing my song. You, you should let the fuck you with it. Where you at, Mighty? Like you do the music. <laughs> <laughs> you do the videos. Am I just you too young? Dance. I ain't never heard of these people. You do the writing. You do Girl, everything, man. man nobody did. Money. <laughs> well, unless you had a festival. Whatever, boss, so. man. <laughs> You're jiggy with it. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Spear of death. Spear of death. He looked like a spear. Like my penis. I don't know Ooh, about death. That has uh, demonic connotations. I don't even know if you want to get into it. Neverland. Help me, Rod. You thought help Michael Jackson was Peter me. Pan, motherfucker? <laughs> you really think Michael Jackson, Peter Pan? I got the spear of destiny. Type of shit, man. Mm. The pale fountains. The, yeah, they some pale fountains, all right. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, I'll have what you're having. His lipstick Dude, is I beautiful. Totally what shade that. is that, bro? I need I that shade, bro. <laughs> sure you do. You the wrong you need that. Man. Queer. We need that. <laughs> we need hey, that, Brad, right there. <laughs> this, man, I can't now he's the only happy one. Groups. He looked like he in a train station. Like he, he missed. He the looked Titanic. too happy. Makes he happy. He happy. He dressed like job. Leonardo DiCaprio in the Titanic. Now he look happy. He look happy. Oh shit! Oh, why they do her like that? Why they oh, do her like that? Now we talk. Oh, now that that's the first one that I recognized, though. Now yeah, but she's not lost. We, we still know talking. her. She she don't belong in the Of course we do. She a geisha or some no, shit. No, we don't. 
Man, them all never they heard of again. Like she still heard of. Back in the day, exactly. I, th- I gotta tell you something. She's one of the I most bomb you drummers you could you Too ever that you I've ever seen. No more. Like for real. Lisa? Yes, ma'am. Amazing drummer. Who? Sheila E. She better than the other girl. Who? Sheila E. Or they neck to neck. Neck to neck. You said Lisa. They neck to neck. Yep. As far as drumming, yes, ma'am. I seen it for myself live. Yeah, she did play the job. I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. Now I got to check. Uh oh. Who that? Oh, we know who that is. Who's the real? Look at these dudes, man. So that's course, the yeah, cool yeah. bonnets to the side. Look at his choker, chest out, taco meat. <laughs> yeah, they were flagrant, but full they force was like not to be played with back in the day. Women. They from Brooklyn. They look like some proud black women. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's how they was I wasn't expecting to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I could get a look, look at them. Look at his choker. <clears throat> what a shag. What a look at his earring. <laughs> his earring go all the way down to his shoulder, man. Mm-mm. Hey, but you couldn't try full force in, uh, in person Makeup. back in the day. They it was these, made to wear them he clothes. Got his bang but... over his bandana. Yeah, they were. The bandana to the side with the band hanging down thing with too. the taco Come on, ring, with, the ge- with the long earring with the rings with the ch- That's back when Eddie Murphy was trying to convince us who party all the time. A, a, the goddamn <laughs> waist trainer. Oh, <laughs> not a waist trainer. Uh-huh. With the zest. He ain't have nothing to do with no fashion. Jamie Foxx was kicking the Jacksons movie game. Jamie Foxx was kicking it with them Jerry Curl, them damn, them perm activator, pink lotion wearing, smooth them zesty daddies back then. They was zesty. They was zesty zaddies. Is that the, um what you call it? Was now in it that all makes sense, man. Uh, all Fox, ma- and Jamie I ain't picking Fox on full force. There. I it know was you all ain't. of them. Yeah, that was two of the members of full oh, force. Man. <clears throat> All of them, man. Every last one of them. He looked he like a real goofy in that picture. Like that that much shot. But that's he how they made them dress. But D'Angelo was him. They like the village people. Him. And homie down here letting you know he all about. He already down there waiting. That's early hip hop, but that's how they had them dressing. Look how he linked up on, we ain't on, no up on back his then. niggas. Like, I we ain't on no better. We was literally. We sure from- didn't. Looks like with this. Yeah. Ben's ass. When they got off the stage, they took that ish off. That was well, not. He always down the service. Those are the early like, stages of the rap where that we was, the artists were made to look like rock stars. What in the world? Right, because they come out of that Studio Fifty Four world. Yes, yes. Right. So, but and that was not regular street clothes. Exactly, and just like you said, they were made to dress like that because you got to remember who was um, sort of creating their look, their style, their album covers, all of that. That was, you know, the lighter shade of marmalades. That was a PC way of saying it, wasn't it? Mhm. They was they like, oh, look how they dress. Now like, really was not dressed like that in no real public. I've been, at I've been at in all. all parts of the street back then, and no, was nobody outside like that. That was performance only. No, we was not on the corners, <laughs> and it's bad because unless you like, unless you from like old school New York, they think that's how we dress. And I'm glad. I was so glad when uh one DMC came out and say no. Let's dress like, how we always how we dress. actually dress. Right. The only the only exception is we really was walking around with Jerry Curls and Shags. That part was true, but not the dress. Yeah, exactly. Like no, 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 no. 
No, no. Not at all. Mm -mm. Okay, and we're going to have to take our little music break. I'm going to get into Body Rose. Her little skate, she got a lot of other different things, right? Mm hmm. Right? She got a lot of other little different things, but I just picked this one, but I put my own. My own little royalty I'm music. Spin on it, absolutely. All right now, where it go now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Y'all make sure y'all smash that like, please. Thanks. Thank you, and please for supporting the channel. Support, no, support, no, support. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie Bro says she remember them days. Ah, uh, let me let me find out, Bonnie Rose. Let me find out. Let me find out. You so beautiful, Shark. So are you. Thank you, Pam. We are queens. We yeah, we are. are. No, yes, no. yes. Listen to what our boss Jackie said. Smash them hearts and emojis and fire signs on the right hand side of the screen. Yeah, hey, I don't want no problem with Jackie. Do what she said. Oh, just Thank do you, what she's saying. All right, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. This is the time. Go to the bathroom, shake your feet, get something to drink. This is our little mid break. This is our little but our little hour break. Mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna what? We're gonna turn it up. We're about to turn it up.
All right, guys, we're going to head right back to the show. That was our little intermission. Yes, yes, yes. We bite. We bite. Now let's get back to where we were. And this is the roots. This is where people like Diddy come from, man. This ain't this shit just ain't start yesterday. And I'm not saying they zesty, but look, this motherfucker look like he look like Glorilla. They got a nigga that look like Glorilla and they grew. From the hair to the, the part, the, the nose, the everything. Homie got on the wait, what? What? He got on a cat suit <laughs> G string with a box fur. Hell no. <laughs> with a, with his titties hanging out. Um oh, oh he looked like he stained. He showed up hoochie as fuck. With braid, he got braids with beads and bangles. He a hoochie daddy. Hoochie, they hoochies, hoochie ass niggas, man. They all hoochies. And please don't let them see this shit, man. Please, it's a joke. Like Twenty One Savage, man. It's a joke. Get them off the screen. Hold on, man. <clears throat> oh, real? We about to talk about Cassie, but we got to know the history before we uh, even go forward. You know what I'm saying? Need to know the history to understand exactly what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, man. Andre Harrell. Mr. Hyde of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They was a group, a team, two brothers doing business together. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They, they came as a pair, a pair, a duo, a duo like Stevie J and Diddy. Andre Harrell, the CEO of Uptown Records, man. The dude who discovered Diddy was a part of a group. Rest in peace to Andre Harrell. But his man's back in the day was Dr. Heckle, man. Or Jekyll, Jekyll, whatever. They was on some, they was a... If Diddy the Joker... And Andre Harrell was a part of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We got to dig deeper, man. Hold on. Hold on. Get this together. Let me do this real quick. Okay, I'm starting to get used to these beats. And that's a good thing, man. Okay. Dr. Jekyll. I'll spell it. Mr. Hyde. See if I got this together for y'all so we can get an understanding. Ugh, when is my allergies freaking if you can? You need Astapro. Astapro? It's faster, bro. It of what the hell this is before we can go forward, man. Hold up. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. A Diddy-like character with a cane and a top hat. Is it a ghost? What is it? It's some evil for sure. Doctor, Je I never seen Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde. So you mean to tell me wow. they liking themselves after something? Wow. Divided? Yep. 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 And yep. It's a All yep. about it. A evil alter ego. Hold on. So that's what they like in them. One in the same. Who was the evil one? 
Mr. Hyde. He was Mr. Hyde. So this was his Dr. Heckle. Hold on. Andre Harrell was Mr. Hyde. So he was the evil one. Yeah. Holy oh. shit. Holy shit. That they Dr. was Dr. J- Dr. So did he put him on? Yes, he did. Over. Yes, he did. The yes, same he thing did. Diddy did to him. He did the Diddy. Diddy did the others. Wow. He's a mad, mad, mad in industry. He be finding stuff like me by mistake. So, right. They set themselves up for the shit. Well, he set himself up. He knew he was gonna double cross him. Mm-hmm. He knew he was the he was a it was a bad idea to put him in the game. The same way Andre Harrell had to know it was a bad idea to get Diddy started. Mm. It backfired. The the monster grew even worse. Or did it backfire? The monster been growing. He passed the karma. Karma, karma, man. It came back in the form of Diddy. And we got to deal with him. Rest in peace to Andre Harrell. But this is a part of the legacy that he left behind. And I don't know what yeah, he had gotta going be on. Honest. I ain't never hear nothing bad about Andre Harrell. But, uh. Okay. Mr. Hyde him, and the smile. It's all making sense. The big smile, man. It's all making sense, man. This is crazy. That big Grinch, that cheesy smile. Now I see where it comes. Why they do him like that? Why they do him like that? You got to be careful what you be naming yourself. So that's Mr. Hyde. No, they read it everything, Ma. That is crazy. They read it everything. New York, too. Oh, yeah. They had New York, NYC first. Either way. Mm -hmm. Him and Russell Simmons used to be real tight back in the day. New York got rated, too, baby. Everything got rated. Man, take that beat off. I read somewhere that warrant originated from NYC, out of NYC. Because it got me feeling like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. NYC is who's taking them Yo, down, tell me baby. what y'all think about that new instrument, new man. Let me know in the chat. Let's do a little admission real quick. Let me holler at my people. All the members is kicking it. <clears throat> Pebble Chanel and Seda Holmes, Tammy T. The lineup is impeccable y'all see them beautiful women's um empowerment <laughs> not women we got courtney in- a retired florida couple won seven jackpot some definitely ain't right about this and I could be wrong, but <clears throat> I don't trust Hollywood, man. I don't trust them. This could Nor all sure be a bad boy production, and they got clones, and it's either this is Little Kim with blind. Hair and blue contacts. Trying to go on. Speaking on Diddy. He's stupid. He's uh-uh. stupid. No, he this didn't. Woman <laughs> look like a white little Kim, man. Y'all gonna have to let me know. Okay, let's get into this. Let's get that together. On it. No. Money. Power. Privilege. Excess wealth whatever you want when you want it how you want it whenever you want that was a damn song man in the way yeah, she said it, they need to chop that into a damn music video 
because she was looking like she doing a concert. All she was missing is the Janet Jackson headset, man. That's all she needed. The headset that go to your mouth. Look at this, man. Money. Power. Oh, my goodness. Privilege. Excess. Wealth. Whatever you want. When you want it, oh how you want it. They need they need to quit playing and get her ass in the booth. Oh her mic control is better than Jay-Z, Biggie, and Tupac. Put together. When her album coming out, she put that shit down better than Scarlet. Oh <clears throat> She a vet with that mic. She said. She pushed them words. She, man. She pushed them words out right. She got the right. Look at her jacket. She better than Janet Jackson. Madonna could never. The way she's sitting in the seat, like she will give you the butt. She about to do her head like Michael Jackson, like play with me. Like I, she know how to work a mic. I'm a fan. I ain't never seen nobody put that <laughs> shit down like that. Suge Knight in jail, like man. If I was still running the row, I would sign her ass to a she is fire i gotta run that back i'm sorry i gotta run it back one more time y'all listen at this money power privilege Mm -hmm. excess oh she looked the way like a battle rapper she looked the way like Tay Rock and looked back and looked down. <laughs> oh my God. She got cadences. She looked the other way, looked down and looked back like, oh. Uh. Like I'm just, she just getting warmed up like, bitch. Like I'm about to slam. She's like, I got bills to pay, motherfucker. Y'all forgot about Nancy motherfucking Grace. Her mixtape about to be on loops all in the hood, man. When that Y'all Nancy Grace mentioned, dropped, your stupid. auntie know about it. Y'all know I'm mentioned, but he's stupid. And now I understand <laughs> this woman put the shit down better than Jay-Z. He is a mess. Whew. Hold on, man. I'm a fan of fine arts and talented people. This woman got skills. And I'm going to quit being goofy, but this is the last time. Look at this, y'all. Money. Power. Privilege. Excess. Wealth. (laughs) Whatever you want. When you want it, whenever you want, whenever you want, girl, you know I will provide whatever you need. Mm-hmm. I'm trying yeah. to hit that note. You know I will provide. Yes, well, while she definitely she, needs several seats. She, she, okay, we got to finish listening to what she had to say, man. And speed it up and just let it play. All right, here we go. Let it play. How you want it. How do you want it? Puffy Combs. Of course, I could be talking about Jeffrey Epstein. The two have very disturbing similarities, both using their privilege, their fame, their fortune to mistreat and abuse young women if these allegations are true. Damn. Oh, hold on. Oh, I wasn't expecting all that. Wait a minute. 
the intro go hard. Hold on, just get that. Oh man. I totally got Botox cosmetic for me. And this is like the first thing I've done for me in a really, really long time. As a mom. Get it together. Okay, go. Because in the last hours, many comparisons have been made to the disgraced, now dead. Oh my financial. God, he just looked like an ogre. I give him the me. <laughs> Not an ogre. Father. I had nothing but a body, you know. About a million billion dollars. Slimy, bally. Slime ball. No, I no. What the hell? Get this Grim Reaper motherfucker. Yo, he got on a whole bar, yo. Jeffrey Epstein. He got on a whole bar. <laughs> and needed it. And he got the pointy one, the pointy bra. Not the pointy, the Madonna bra. <laughs> Person number one, Jelaine Maxwell, who is now behind bars. But think about it: immense power, wealth, prestige. No one around them speaking out ever, traveling freely across the U.S., keeping homes in California, in New York, in Florida yachts that take them onto the high seas outside of u.s jurisdiction the international waters and important from my perspective right now surveillance cameras according to sources there are literally hundreds and hundreds if not thousands and thousands of hours of surveillance video of sean combs and his staff committing wrongdoing this while one of the most iconic music figures in our lifetime, Sean Combs, has issued a statement where he rails about character assassination and how. God. God. They make it seem like America. They never got paid. It's looking like Diddy ain't never got all that he worked for. Is is gone. It's back in the system, man. He don't made money for other people. They fat him up. Like a pig. Exactly. How many times I gotta keep telling you that money don't belong to them? And that's why they snatch it back when they throw with you. Well, they take it back so you can start off with a lower level, right? They ain't gonna let you get it so far. Mm-hmm. They come get their money, but the bad part is the artists. People are like, yeah. For the art, the artist still ain't getting it. It's going back to who gave it to him. Don't be too happy. Exactly. Don't be too happy. Biggie family ain't getting it. Craig Mack family ain't getting it. Whoever else, they're, they're not getting it. Don't be too happy. But he did give back their publishing, so. Some of them, it was too late for like Craig Mack, unfortunately. Only just to slaughter his ass. They let him live like a fat rat. They let him live like a hog. And now they about to slaughter his ass. Ain't that how it go? They let you be a shining, a shining buckaroo. But when it's your time, they're going to do you like a horse. Hold on. Don't need to see this. You know what they do to horses. That's terrible. They treat them just like a damn horse. And when your ass can't do it no more, the 
the silent slaughter of thoroughbred racing the game is over they getting rid of the horses that's what they doing they putting down the horses because this game ain't working no more it's an outdated game you got technology you got ai that make better music than any brother alive right now they don't need you to play their basketball no more because people are done with basketball people would rather be on tiktok people ain't got time to watch the game they forgot about the game look at this man it's a done deal luka donick got the game the joker got the game don't nobody want to see kd no more they rather see luka it's over it's gonna be more lucas from overseas coming to the nba and it's gonna be more competitive than ever before man the game is it's almost over for hey, my brother players Welcome. Welcome, my brother. Shit, you can't buy seven feet. But the nope. game ain't what it used to be no nope. more, man. I told you. That imaginary money they be having. Mm -hmm. If they was making that money that they say uh -huh. they be making, why in the hell would they be playing basketball for 20 years straight with bad ankles and bad knees? Uh -huh. And then when they retire... They go and get a job on ESPN or some shit. For what? Hold on, man. I'm a therapist who goes to Make sure y'all hit that some like. people think that's strange. The thing is, yeah, they're coming in. human beings just yes, like please you. and thank you. They sit their ass. Now. Now. We're going to come back. But I want to get to is Diddy's son 2.0 or what? Right? Is his son 2.0 or what? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, one look at those documents let you know what's that what that's about. Is, is Diddy stepping down so the boys can take over? Mm. This internet is acting crazy. I am just hopefully this. Okay, I thought it last. was just me. I, I really thought it was just me. Mine is not doing right either. Okay, no, it's not just you, sis. I think I, I will come right back to this. Again, this goes out, credit goes to Docs, Docs. It's done, his son is stunting hey, on him sir, uh, everywhere they go, and he can't stand what it. What'd you say, sis? And on top of that, he got the How about the ass did you hear about him and the yacht worker? And Combs. Look at the red. Huh? Look at this, man. The allegation is the latest in a wave of lawsuits accusing homes. Yeah, I read that yesterday. Sexual assault, sexual okay, trafficking, okay. I think he's and engaging other criminal activity. But I did that know yesterday. What this is, man. Do you really want to know what this is? Now they I'll tell you what this yeah, is. I'll tell you what this is all about, man. Yeah, they do. They are losing the privilege that they can afford, and they don't understand why. And the reason why is because these kids been abusing their privilege, man. It's as simple as that. This dude, King Combs, he think he's a young lord and he can do it. He been to 15 oh, proms. Don't <laughs> 15 proms I was gonna say, he with different, different women's. Hammers. He ain't got no chill button. He gonna mm -mm -mm. learn. We gonna talk about it, man. Make sure y'all do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe yeah, hit to that the like, channel. Comment, also, hit that notification button. You know that I ain't got nothing but love for all y'all out there. I appreciate the people leaving the comments. Matter of fact, let me show y'all some love real quick, man. Who we got up in here? Are in, in, incredible, um, incredibly just.
disturbing. So Christian Combs is accused of sexual assault, sexual harassment, and infliction of emotional distress in this. Now, this mama name Christian. I'm gonna call him Christian. I ain't calling him no king. You got that right. And he's a six and he's a nine. Look at the ages right now. My boy don't turn. I thought he turned 25, basically. He turned 26. Oh, wow. That's a six right there. Look at the number. Oh, I'm wow. To see exactly what this is all about. This is a humiliation ritual. They want to see this man take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Somebody done worked out a way to get Diddy out the picture. His sons <laughs> been working hard to get Diddy out of the picture. You can get away with this shit mm -hmm. when you young and you're sexy. Ask R. Kelly. Oh. When uh -oh. R. Kelly had a six pack, they left his ass on the street. Women would have been fighting if he would have went to jail. Same thing with Trey Songs. The only reason why Trey Songs is free is because it's a whole bunch of women out there that find him sexually attractive facts angela but facts. Get old, but they couldn't, get they couldn't get away from it and you got love handles they couldn't get away from it and you out here Finally, touching people it's can't open people because he sued your people for premises that, liability, that's what daddy? aiding and abetting his son in a legend right so, that's all that's around you as you're coming up he throwing him an alley mm -hmm. oop you get him out Hot under a rock. Because once this is, they not gonna let him go to jail. You think them females gonna let the judge slam the hammer and say life? They will be in there kicking ass. They will be outside the courthouse the same way they was out there for R. Kelly, talking about free R. Kelly until he showed up to court with a big belly, with a goddamn gut. <laughs> That's what this is all about, man. <laughs> It's either that or Diddy's kids don't ruin his whole entire life. Y'all got to listen at this, man. In and, or in the studio or anything and you don't agree? <laughs> he used to be yelling like, yo, don't don't yell on the mic. Okay, all right. <laughs> I don't do That's too good. much. But you know, he, he got good constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. Make sure we on point. And you seen, and always, you you seen the in the, the latest one, they both was dressed the in red, next, right? Next level, but like yeah. the leg, the, it's so cemented. Like, yep, I, I sure did. Already iconic. Yeah. We were just talking about that, weren't we? Another level. Even yeah, you're yeah. gonna see a lot of that. You know, Let's keep looking. Legendary, but taking it to my generation, mm -hmm. and you know, getting all the kids to know about it. That's my age, because you'd be surprised. Some people don't even really know about certain things. Like they ain't even know. He out there recruiting the kids, y'all. He's recruiting the kids. That's what he do. He want to get the young kids hip to what bad boy is and who his father he's nice is. Nice suit, though. He's the one bringing them in. Diddy ain't got no connection with the kids. He's an old man. It takes for somebody like him to bring in all the young kids and that's where you get this sex trafficking shit from. That's not a Diddy problem. That's a King Kong oh. 2.0. This kid is in trouble for the festivities and shit that he got going on under his father's brand. Mm. That's what this is all about. They didn't go at Diddy. They went at his son. Mm. They went and got his son got recorded in his phones and his shit. The little girls he been recording ever since he probably was five years old. Mm -mm -mm. He had grown women throwing him the ass. Mm. Elementary school teachers or whatnot. Mama. He's the freak. Oh. Diddy is a public freak. This yeah. guy, we just figured no out about told. him. His uh -oh. tactics and how he do it on the spoiled brat vibes can easily get somebody arrested. He's sinister. That is true. He's grown. And he's stuck to Diddy like glue. If Diddy didn't have nothing he to do with his son, the he would I'm not done. be in trouble. In trouble for what? Getting banged by Meek Mill, allegedly? I don't Oops. think so. That's not a crime. Oops. 
But this guy they all is got gung-ho on bringing the young generation to bad boy. Listen at this guy. So oh, simple. they do, right? You take something that's already iconic. All of her kids. And historic to a Down to Quincy. Level. Well, yeah, I think, you know, it definitely is legendary. But taking it to my generation mm-hmm. and, you know, getting all the kids to know about it, that's my mm-hmm. age. Because you'd be surprised. Some people don't even really know about certain things. Like, they ain't even know. Like that sample was from Lil Kim and yeah, Lil yeah, yeah. like a lot of my friends didn't even know that. Or like when they see the video, me and Kodak did. We, did we know that Lil it. Kim video. Mm-hmm. They thought I came up with that. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> just putting them on. I feel like we could take it even further. This man, his come on, man. His father made a career off of sampling other people's music from back in the day, and had to pay them people millions of dollars. And his son is sampling his father's music <laughs> and redoing Lil' Kim videos. No originality, no creativity whatsoever. Not at all. And his generation still don't know where it came from. Mm-mm. They have no sense of hip-hop history. They just get out there and be running their mouth. But he not trained even this respecting kid. They the got art. the history and stuff, bro. And now, it's worse. They don't care. This toxic culture... Done flooded the vase of something that was natural. Mm-hmm. Bad boy's legacy is in shambles because this Look man at him young. Look what color he, he got on. To take over, and the way he did. And he was young in that picture. So damn stupid. Oh, I keep games. All on the internet. What did they tell you? Got all different types of wild shit going on. They even caught a body in the studio. Mm-mm-mm. Hold on. That was him and, and, and just wait, wait, wait one second. Let's get this together. Y'all stay tuned, man. I want to thank y'all once I again. I can say he grew up nice. Gotta investigate when he was deeper. young, boy. We got to go deeper into this thing. That's right. That's why I like you. Exactly, Bonnie. I got to get to the bottom of this, man. Look at this, y'all. Oh God, this is ugly. They got them all in the news. Diddy and Justin under federal investigation for LA studio shooting involvement. Diddy and Justin Combs face a federal investigation for a 2022 LA studio shooting with evidence placing them at the scene and a $30 million lawsuit for the shooting, sexual assault, and harassment legal actions include arrests linked to their alleged cover-up and scrutiny over the past incidents with the black mafia family oh he's telling it federal investigations intensifies diddy and justin combs are under federal investigation for their alleged involvement in a 2022 shooting at the la's chalice studios with potential criminal charges is looming. Even details and legal implications, the incident organized by Diddy's producers camp escalated from a heated conversation to gunshots, leaving Mr. G bleeding. A $30 million lawsuit targets Diddy and Justin Combs, citing the shooting and additional allegations of sexual assault and harassment. Legal actions and responses Producer Little Rod's Amid complaint seeks $30 million accusing Diddy of sexual assault and involvement in the shooting. Diddy's legal team led by Sean Holly counters these claims, highlighting location discrepancies and challenging the credibility of underage party allegations. Diddy is in trouble for hanging around with his son Mm-hmm. That's what this is boiling down to, and that's why <laughs> yeah, Mary J. Vos, he's boy. out there enjoying the ice cream with Stevie J. While his sons is getting all the heat, he may have been there, he may have been around, but he didn't start none of this stuff that they got going on. It's just that he's famous. They didn't have nothing else on Diddy that was big enough to stick. Besides the fact that he smacked Cassie, that ain't nothing that's going to put somebody in jail. 
I mean, it should, but I doubt if it would, especially when he's sitting on all that money. Now they're using well, his sons to go money. against him, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I see. Uh, Quincy said, I'm, little bro, I love you for life. Quincy letting him know he's aligned to his brother. Uh-huh, uh-huh. As he should, as as I would give him a beating. You know? If, unless he was there and he just squeaked. Some sinister yeah, stuff he's gonna come going out on. Still. Sorry, on uh, a spiritual level, and a lot of times I don't like to go there. They're gonna get you next, but there's something going on, and Diddy is paying the price mm -hmm. for something that he may have done. Yep, and he's paying the price through his kids. Quincy got the hell out the way. No, Quincy did not. He's seen it coming. That part is true. It was too much dirt. That part was true. And if he would have stuck around and got implicated, the shit he done done probably was about 50 times worse. Didn't I just say that? Yes, she did. What his what brother you done was done? involved with. I just said that. Either way, Quincy not going to take the heat. Hell, Justin is not even going to take the heat the same way Christian would. And y'all already know why. His mama going to tear him up. He got a mama. They Them said this don't. is a, a blackout moment for bad boy. They call him King Combs, King Kong, <laughs> in the most derogatory way. <laughs> oh. The way he snatch up them white girls mm. and try to find the secret location and take advantage of whatever the hell it is he do, man. You know it ain't right. The family just ain't right. I understand that y'all related and y'all on the beach, but they all over each other. No, they not. They standing back. All the time. <laughs> like, nigga. This is better up. than thug mess. But they won't. Maybe because that's how they was raised. It's very suspicious. The whole family ain't nothing but a bunch of freaks. But I promise you, Diddy 2.0, he's growing and growing more and more into Diddy. Ooh. And it ain't looking too good. Diddy is a saint compared to this guy right here. Aww. You can see it in his face. Aww. He ain't nothing nice. Ooh. He know how to suck up to his dad, make him feel good, <laughs> give him some sugar. Uh-huh. Give it to him right on the neck. Dude uh -huh. is just blushing. He know how to charm him. Uh-huh. He been getting his way for the longest and he ain't gonna stop. Uh-uh. That's a fact. Stop. Somebody need to be his ass. Remember, I don't hold you that surprise y'all. They on the front page of the news because of him y'all gonna see they already shifting the narrative they taking the heat off of diddy and swinging it around to his kids and the more and more this build up the more and more diddy gonna look like the good guy look at this i don't know who i was on the thing with. i kept saying they were talking about him was flexing on the week of his birthday and mm -hmm. like I, should not, I kept saying and we couldn't find the word. I just remember it's called a defense mechanism, right? Uh huh. I was the me and the girl couldn't think of that word for nothing, but that's more of a defense <laughs> mechanism, right? Oh, that, yeah, I, for sure. Let me flex and all oh, this. And oh, nah, ninja, you knew your behind was going down too, yes, ma'am. And remember, everybody here is innocent until proven guilty. This is for. Everything is alleged and for entertainment yeah. purposes. Yes. Yeah, but that's what I would call a weird flex. His birthday shenanigans. That was weird flex, given what's going on. Yeah, because he at this point he's nervous. So that's the defense mechanism. Well, let uh -huh. me show like shining. Let me show this chain. Let me show this necklace. Keep, like, like at this point, ain't nobody ain't buying that. They gotta know when right. we get tired of y'all shine at well, some point in time, y'all shiny stuff don't mean nothing to us. Exactly. Right? But Maybe even that's a page out of Diddy's book, because that's what Diddy's been doing, trying to portray like he's so unbothered by it all. 
Yeah, my man riding the bike talking about pray for him, <laughs> riding the bike down my exactly, head. exactly. You don't sit your ass down somewhere. We don't believe you, Diddy. You need more people. Yeah, at thirty years of people at parties. I showed John in the beginning of the video yesterday. He ain't going down by himself. That's why you show this was what a real Diddy party looked like, right? And I showed John in the beginning. He gonna be showing more Diddy parties. Why? Because he's gonna show all the good parts. But uh -huh. Well, all, what are all the people there? And you think Shug, about yourself. Shook, what does it say about you when the only person that you have that's riding for you and like standing ten toes down with you is Stevie freaking Stevie J. You the same clown who made a fool out of himself on love and hip hop Stevie, for years. Like that's the best Stevie, you got, didn't but Stevie, I think when it comes down to the rest of them, unlike I mean, the same way we were saying with the Carbonation members, like all y'all going down together. So I think, mm -hmm. they, I think they were told to shut up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The big money, mm -hmm. right? The right. Money right. Ones talk. But the big money ones, being that they all down together. Together. Mm -hmm. like, so he got to understand that. He got to yeah, you right about it. Because you think... Jay Z people and Beyonce people like Ninja Jay Z, you better not say that. Gonna be your friend on a down low, but you better not say nothing. Like, so Sugar, just they, because you mentioned his name, I'm gonna ask you something. Do you really think Jay Z canceled his uh the 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 sh I can't remember if it was a show or a tour, but either way, you think he canceled it because of this Diddy stuff, or you think it's some other stuff? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then, you know, it could be ticket sales. But he wasn't doing those shows before. So to even say, I'm going to do that and don't do it, well, we don't know how the ticket sales was neither. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. So, but actually, All right. I just know. checking. But I know he's showing them Diddy parties for a reason. Like, I got 30 years of people on camera. Stop playing with me. Right. Right. So, and a lot of them did not do nothing, right? So that's going to make the people, like, if y'all don't want to talk, I'm going to make you talk, right? Because a lot of people ain't had nothing to do with nothing. And then right. the people who had a lot of something to do with something, right? So he ain't saying which one is who, but the who, they know who they are. Exactly. What you call so, it? Um, Dog whistle. That's what it was. <laughs> Showing those photos. That was just a dog whistle. Like, hey, watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right, or you could say, "Hey, I was, yeah, I was there, and nothing happened." Right? Like, yeah, I was there. I don't uh -huh. know. It was a cool party. Remember, he got th over thirty years of parties, and not just <laughs> one party a year. He had parties all the time, all the time. So that will go back to well, you could say something because you're gonna have to. You was at the party. Yeah, I was at the party. Mm -hmm. And the ones who was doing something, let me shut up, right? <laughs> let me shut up. Yep, yep. You you don't even need like uh damaging uh evidence because all you do is just show it. Now, if you was good, you could say I ain't did nothing. Yeah, I was at a party and it was a regular party, right? Because that's what they need to hear. It was a regular party. It was crazy. It was wild. It was a regular. And other people would let me shut on up. But yeah, I think it's weird if, if everybody comes out and says, "Oh no, I wasn't there." That's weirder when it we can't. know, right? That's why he's showing them pictures. They, and I showed. I don't know if he was here yesterday when I showed the, the, the. And he said, "This is a real Diddy party." And he was showing flat flash of his mm -hmm. birthday, showing all like ninja, all of y'all, whoever is somebody was there. Now what? Exactly. Now what y'all going? What you going to do now? What? Right. Dre gonna do a thing here and deny it. No, you can't deny that because baby <laughs> can't nobody deny it unless they, they literally was, was not there. And, and if you wasn't invited to a party, then you could brag about not even being invited, but then that was exactly. why wasn't you invited, right? You you said no exactly because right? <laughs> mm -hmm. not everybody participated, not everybody participated, buzzing but was invited. Ninja, you wasn't invited at all. <laughs> exactly.
Yeah, because I remember it used to be like them them folks used to be on cloud so nine to get those up. invites. Being yeah. so much shit, they had to go get El Chapo's lawyer. Diddy's son retained El Chapo's lawyer amid Homeland Security raid fallout. They need the same defense that a drug lord would have. <laughs> he said he was trying to take it to the next level. And he wanted to be the new, he wanted to continue the legacy. And they asked him, was he able to do it? Listen at this show. It's so cemented. Like, how do you take something that's already iconic and historic to another level? Well, yeah, I think, you know, it definitely is legendary, but taking it to my generation mm -hmm. and, you know, getting all the kids to know about it, that's my age. Because you'd be surprised. Some people don't even really know about certain things. Like, they didn't even know, like, that sample was from Lil' Kim and yeah, Lil' yeah, C. Yeah. Like, a lot of my friends didn't even know that. Or, like, when they see the video, me and Kodak did, when we did the Crush on You Lil' Kim video, mm -hmm. they thought I came up with that. <laughs> okay, let's get this clear. So, if the young generation don't have a clue about bad boy how in the hell would diddy be able to wheel them kids in the way he been doing unless he got that young star power and i'm not saying that's um, that that black was that's in what song comes and along stuff with being like a father to these young men he got no choice but to be around younger kids because he has younger kids Unless he don't want to be involved. Mm -hmm. They the reason why all this shit is going on. Listen. <laughs> so it's like, just putting them on, I feel like we could take it even further. You know, that 20 years from now, still be on top. So. Right. And take it another 20. You sure you want your daddy you footsteps? Oh yeah, that was crazy. That was a dream come true. Shout out to BT, everybody for making that happen. You know, I've been watching my pops on the BT Awards since I was like a baby, so. I think we even went to like one of the first ones. So to be there and perform, that was like a big dream. Do you feel like the the, the industry and the world is finally allowing you to be like your own man? Like nope. they're finally looking at you as King Combs and not just Diddy's son? Nope. Yeah, I think so. You know, regardless, I know, you know, I had to work for it. It wasn't gonna be mm -hmm. easy just to come out and everybody just receive my music or think that, you know, I have the work ethic that it takes. But, you know, I think, you know, as long as I keep pr proving myself, Everybody gonna know. I mean, it's, it's hit a... out right now. Definitely Can't stop, won't stop. We're going up. Let's get it. He he hit uh, his father. His daddy can't even breathe with these kids. <laughs> he couldn't even come up with his own. <laughs> That's funny. Or his song. He sampled his father's song. How in the hell are you gonna prove yourself as a man? Where everything you have come from your dad. Say Cameron, breathe with these kids. <laughs> hey, look, oh, it's man. a sample of a sample. He did shit on his uh -huh. own and want to take the credit. I'm my own man, even though I'm on my daddy's label. I just remade my daddy's song. Can't stop, <laughs> won't stop. Bad boy, take that, take that. Diddy 2.0. I'm back. I'm Diddy. So everything he do, people automatically going to put it on Diddy. As a grown ass, old ass man. He said, Diddy, Diddy want to get it in. See the rap? Look at that. He was young. Ross, then so be it. had King on it. He don't pay his dues. He don't push him out there. If Diddy want to be a big old freak, who in the world going to stop him? He said, Diddy can't even breathe with these kids. going to tell him how to spend his money. They got their own money. Thou who has not sinned, throw the first stone, man. It ain't even about Diddy. Like I said, America been comfortable in knowing who this man is, what he about, what he done done, and what he will possibly do. But now we got a new introduction. That's right. Got the braces. Got them teeth the right. second coming. Mm-hmm. He looking like the antichrist with allegations like this already he on the roll did he been in the news before and his sons is ready i guess this is what it takes to follow mm -hmm. in your father's footsteps mm -hmm. but all this gusting we seen let me show y'all something man 
because people act like they forgot or they don't y'all don't know what time it is and people be acting all delusional about diddy like y'all just now finding out that this man was a freak look at this man play this a little bit i just want y'all to see this real quick okay let's get into it The Notorious B.I.G. The bad boy part. They got the posters. They got the card. Setting it up. People online waiting to come in. They want to see Biggie. Brooklyn is in the building. The hole is out there. The ball is just jacking. It's going down. They let them in. Biggie and V.I.P. with his dudes. Biggie got a chick on this side, a chick on that side. He the motherfucking man. Y'all got to understand. He love it when they call him. Because oh. he big, he nasty, and they'll do anything to freak off. Oof. Oh, my. Look. Uh-oh. These uh, them chicks that I would miss- never... They would have never even they looking like they embarrassed at the camera on them he the fat man in the middle <laughs> with a funny. glass of champagne he rolling with the diddler man y'all gotta keep up mm. they drinking all his liquor drinking all his juice he with the diddler he like the penguin mm. he got them in the club she on her Beyonce shit before Beyonce was even born. He said before Beyonce was even born. The freak off is day in the back. What's she doing? What's she? Is that a man? Ain't that dang young. That's funny. Is that a motherfucking man? Did he been a freaky boy? You can't say this chick. Is that a nigga? She in the men's <laughs> bathroom. Hold up. And Diddy just keep on look. She in there. She holding more meat. She holding more meat. They can't believe it. She packing more sausage than them boys. Mm-mm. He tried it. They ashamed to even pull their shit out. The dinner brought her to the party, man. He brought her in there. Look at this. Her meat. It's so big. Them boys backed up and left the bathroom. Hold on, y'all. They ashamed. They mad at the Lord. Like, how was she blessed with more than the best? (laughs) Not being mad at the Lord. They second guessing reality. Mm -hmm. And he came up in there to see Big Papa. (laughs) Ah, I can't take up. Hold on, man. I can't take them. They getting the fuck out of there. They get, they got the hell up. They had to go. But the party still the same dude. That same dude in the bathroom, he back with his niggas. Look at this, man. Racketeering, gambling. Prostitution. You seen all the shit. The stuff they being accused of, you seen it in a Biggie video in 1994. Ooh, now that's a oh whole fact. Dang. This is not he said that. Nothing new. He already told y'all how to go down, man. Look. He want the cookies. He want the muffin. He want the cakes and the buns. And he willing to pay. This is trafficking. Look at this stuff, man. While he's spitting game, she looking for big. This is like a scene out of Blade. Hold on, y'all. Mm. Y'all stay tuned.
the evilest party you have a blade rave it was a freaking blade rave in the biggie video hold on get that video back where's that yeah look they throwing their hands in the air for a true player blood everywhere just like in the biggie video it was evil hold on man turn that off turn to switch that up there you go that's him that's him He looked like a completely different person back then. He sure do. Dang. He looked like his name Woody or something. What the fuck? Return of the Mac. <laughs> Not uh, Woody. Mary J and Misa. Mary J and Misa. With the blonde hair dudes looking just like Diddy's mother. They was Ouch. in the club. Bugging for the night. With Big Papa. The pig they set up for the slot. Hold on. he tr- She tried to get away from. Look how many. It's up on her. The same dude she tried to get away from. Don't snatch her up by her waist. Look. He is not leaving her alone. That's sexual harassment. They all up her skirt. Look how they looking at her, man. Like she a piece of meat. He don't lift up her skirt so his homies could see them cheeks. It's a sickening, man. They just drunk off that juice. Now we gotta see the video. You gotta go back and watch the grill. That's a trainee, though. Nobody knew that. Biggie, sn- hold on, wait. This fat motherfucker. Wait, hold up. Who? Oh, you about to teach me something? He swooped up on his. Right there. He swooped up on that man, girl. Nah. Hold up. Wait a minute. No. What's your name? What's your sign? Sign. Soon as he buy that wine. Oh my God. That look like. Oh. Uh, that look like a uh, God Sydney star. Oh, Ooh, really? He looks like him, but that's a trainer. He oh wow! The out the way. Hold up. Woo. Woo. Hey, the chop the chop the score is a good way to play the oh, music. God. Put all five fingers in that man's face. Told him to get the fuck out of here. I ain't never seen that like do that it, in my babe. life. Look. <laughs> Oh, 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 it got dead up in her face, man. Hold on, I ain't never seen a move so cold. We did. Oh, she feeling his vibe. Oh my God, Biggie don't bag the bit. Bust, oh, bust the hurt, yo. <laughs> bust his face is hilarious. Bust is hurt. Biggie taking their bitches and breaking their hearts. And that ain't the cold part. Tell me why she look like a a wicked shaman witch. Like Maddie, I tell you what to do. She looking bad. She look bad with money for bad. I miss the earrings though. Hey. Your line guy. I miss them. You know what? I have something over Diddy that he would never be able to release. Hey, she do look witchy. Not if you have sex with girl. I'm here for the money. Oh my god! In the blood. <laughs> Are you I willing to take him. a oath with me, Maddie? Are you willing to take the pact? She look wicked. And she was the one helping the dealer. She was the Harley Quinn of this time, man. She was the Harley Quinn of the 90s, the original, before Cassie and J-Lo played Harley Quinn. 
it was Ooh. Visa in the club. He's still on some coochie. He still ain't leaving the hoes alone. She digging. He getting robbed. Did she just dig mm-hmm. in his back pocket? Mm-hmm, 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 Did she mm-hmm. rob him? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. These bitches, they robbing niggas in the club. Yeah. She's the old. Oh, she, 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 she took that nigga wallet. She took his. Oh. Where you been? Oh. Wait, was he too young to have seen this in real time or what? Took his wallet in front looking at the girls. <laughs> hey y'all! Hey y'all! What's up? No one but cat matter. Hey y'all! Is that Diddy? What the? Hey no one. <laughs> no, that's not Diddy. Did he know the cameras was running? That's not Diddy. <laughs> that's supposed to be Bill Bellamy. Is that the original Sean Combs. <laughs> Damn, Stop telling me. Should have at least put you. T- no, no, I said supposed to be like a lookalike before they started recording. Oh, 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 okay. They caught him. Yeah, off. they caught him off guard <laughs> in the dressing room. <laughs> like, all right, player, time for my close up. Hey, P. Diddy. He was Money Mike before Money Mike, y'all. Oh Lord. <sighs> oh. They found somebody that was uglier than Biggie. Just to make him be like, <laughs> the heart in the video. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, <laughs> Yo. Yo, you know what? We we can't, sis. We can't. We can't. You washing her feet. Hold on. What did he, this nigga? Oh my god. Man. People don't see how young she is there. He washing her. Oh, she was ass baby. Feet. Mm-hmm. Diddy over there, he washing coochies. I forgot the girl who was in uh-uh. the black. I forgot the name. In there stink. Oh, um, she back there waiting, uh, like, sitting down, on, right? I just in the black right there. Work. Yeah, yeah. He in the he in there working. I'm not gonna remember her name, y'all. Like, damn, babe, let me do something about the toes. Like she got the, the whole hot toes smell but it's like Fritos, her. man. Like, take that, take that, take that soap. Oh, my Yeah, God. I know who you're talking about. She do look like her a little bit. Washing her motherfucking feet. Why are you talking about she, she was watching cat? <laughs> <laughs> he bit his lip. Cause she was gonna be having his baby, baby. <laughs> he bit his lip before he poured the water on her feet, <laughs> and she got that look on her face like, "What the fuck is you doing?" I'm gonna be having his baby, baby. Mm-hmm. What he said? Did this nigga say I love? This nigga said I love you, Biggie Smalls. What the? F- no diddy she do kind of look like lucy pearl she said he's i mean he said he done been to 15 graduations in the tub full of women talking about i love you biggie smalls oh man he been zesty since the beginning look at this y'all look 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 at that Sorry, I was eating chips and trying to sing at the same time. Girl, that one. You fuck can't you help it when you're on tub. here. It's his, vi- <laughs> <laughs> it's his video. And that's what I get for talking about others. And here I go do the same thing. Why they come? Don't talk He's about He's sitting stuff. on the edge of the tub. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> they made him sit next to the tub. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. Why they ain't let him take his shirt off? And get Wait, the water ran out when he went to go jump in? <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? Diddy been a grimy cat for a long time, man. He make Biggie sit there and watch while he freak him <laughs> off. He said no Biggie freak off. Right there, no man, freak off. Nah, Biggie he uh, said no freak off. No freak off. No freak off. No freak off. See, I do play boy. Y'all better not even look at that nigga, man. 
Like, right now nah, we good, son. Don't freak off. Don't freak off. Don't freak off. He in there. He living the life. Got holes. They in there chilling. Biggie, he ain't even invited. Like, where the fuck you gonna sit, big? Like, what you doing, man? Put your shirt back on. Not a big Biggie's video, but he wasn't invited. <laughs> if Biggie getting there, all the water gonna be on the floor, mm -hmm. man. And I ain't want no parts of this. She looking like say damn, I was big, in that water fat. with no part. No. Right. So she looking at Biggie. She like, Biggie coming oh. in? No, y'all stay up in you there. Gained a couple more pounds, big. Nah, big said no freak off, no freak off for me. God damn it. What the hell is going on? Look at this. <laughs> Big say I'll I'll, I'll I'll rob you. Bar, I'll take your girl, just, but no free call. Like, I'm 14. I mean 25. Oh, I went to make the mama on that. Yeah, I'm only six. I mean, I'm 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 26. Is R. Kelly gonna be here tonight? <laughs> Them girls look like they ain't got no breast. <laughs> Not asking about R. Kelly. How in the hell they get in the video, man? Yeah, now that I'm looking at her. This is trafficking. Uh, this video came out. Oh, she hella baby. Like 14, 15, baby. Rapping about the trafficking. Hold on. Look, 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 look. This is the part right here. Listen. Friends. Shake it. Shake it. Tell your friends. Get with my friends. Get with my friends. And we could be friends. You don't set up a freak off in the middle. That's of what I will just say it. That's what I said. A freak off. That's what I said. Biggie was like, no freak song. off, no freak off, no freak off. He all in your head. Usually, when people take it to the bridge, they have a nice little harmony going. Not Diddy. <laughs> Not Diddy, though. No. After the hook, he took it to the bridge and set up a, a lifetime freak off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling your friends. Stop. Your friends. Stop. <laughs> we can do this every weekend. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. Is that all right with you? Every, every, week, like, every weekend on Pornhub. <laughs> and Jenny, I mean, and Biggie <laughs> like Pornhub. No, 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 I'm not Tell getting to that tough. Get all your girls. <laughs> I bring all my guys. Freak, 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 freak. <laughs> Freak, freak, and Biggie freak, like no, man. no, 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 and no. We're taking turns, but now in 2024, the world got amnesia, mm -hmm. and it's not that we don't know who Diddy is, because we surely do. We just don't know who this guy is. Uh oh, and that he more sinister than Diddy, man. He like the Terminator. We need to get him in check now, right? Because he's not living right. What if he is more sinister, y'all? That's wild. He okay with Diddy. He perfectly explain everything that he do. But this Christian Combs, he need to step up to the plate <laughs> and do what? Help us get an understanding. We want to know so bad who we dealing with. They ran up in there, it's took all his shit just so they can study him. Probably. Probably. He's a foreigner. Probably. In the land of entertainment, yeah. And plus, he ain't make his own hits. This nepotism shit. Is he a Scientologist? Don't people? That's scared? true. Because up to this mm -hmm. point, we only know him for Who being the son of is King Combs, mm -hmm. and his brother. They shooting people. They are. They didn't even do nothing. And then we think they can pour the son. No, a but yeah, that's true. Did he gonna get a pass? But them boys they ain't gonna get shit. <laughs> Diddy gonna get a pass because he got collateral on some very important people. Mm. And so what? They went in there and found them tapes, man. So what? They got the audios and they got all that shit. So so what? That still don't stop the fact that this man got access to some shit. They seen it with their own two eyes. They don't know what he got in the stash. He got tricks up his sleeves. He want them to try something. He let me, man. Y'all need to see this. He wished they would, but he feel like his sons need to learn a lesson. He out there riding the bike. A I ain't gotta look for it. Thank you so world. much. I ain't gotta even. A beautiful find breezy day in Miami. He, found it he got me. the freedom. 
the said, freedom to take a bike ride. beautiful, greasy cover girl. <laughs> amidst all the shit that's going on, man. And said, pray for me. Told the girls, pray the for me. The police not going to stop him. And if they do, they're going to treat him with the utmost respect. We talking about the diddler. This man can make some shit go off on the other side of the country. They do not want to play that game. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That was his mentor. Mm. This dude. Look at this, man. I didn't even, you know, it's so crazy. He learned from the best of them. We didn't even think about that. He did learn from Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That was uh -huh. their name. Uh-huh. Hey, it went right over our heads. Now I got, we got to go back again. At the time, I mean. Yeah. At the time. Now yeah, we, we gotta, gotta go, go back. back. We're gonna have to do now it. We gotta go back again. She we're gonna have to do it. Ah because too many people don't go know. Back to stuff when it's not in my memory. He's a learn from the best, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Abigail. And why they chose them names? Because remember, Diddy can't do nothing until he's initiated, and they saw how hungry he was and how mm -hmm. hungry he was. And they got him. That's how he got it. Yep. They told him what to do with his money, where to keep it. He got a plan A, B, C, and D. His son, on the other hand, he going to have to learn the hard way, and rightfully so. Yep. You know why? He can't be king combs if you ain't pay them king combs dudes thank you you mm. gotta pay your own look at this that's right he done made his mark that's right a, he got his star on the Hollywood oh, Walk of Fame. no he don't he got his friends in hollywood celebrities and shit that's willing to help him out yep he made one mistake well maybe look at this y'all he mature nice Got his teeth, got his teeth done. Got he his made mouth. one mistake. Who? He sued that liquor company. That was a big mistake. That's too. something he should have never ever did. That wasn't no little itty bitty mistake. He yeah, sued but them on some they racial got other, discrimination. They got That's other bad for companies. But well, we didn't know he who fucked up their money. We didn't know who Ciroc was before. They got they didn't it out for this show. man. People ain't buying no, this shit like they was buying it before. People but not like, the rock. That's the issue. Not Delhi, to go in there and buy that. I never knew none of them. All this stuff in the news about Diddy. No, you're right. You don't want a bottle of Ciroc. People could have. I didn't. How and all the different him? flavors and stuff. Who going to drink that? Nah, you know, I was on kettle one. You know, you could drink what you want to drink, but damn, he done blew up their whole company. Diego acquired Clooney's Casamigos in 2017 for a billion dollars and oh. ain't got no Negroes to sell it to. Mm-hmm. It's the top selling US tequila brand represents. Hey, my Latin people are gonna buy it up, but still, they might not even want to do it because of what they did to Diddy. Like, I like tequila, but I like Diddy too, man. I can't, I can't be picking and choosing. I'm no, no. getting another brand. Diddy, my dog, man. I like it. I can't stop. I love Diddy, man. Help me. They got Diddy in their headphones. They give me job. They building houses and grocery stores <laughs> and stuff, man. They gotta choose. They don't fuck the, the money, man. A multi-billion dollar deal. Publicly traded spirits company based in London owns more than two hundred brands, mm -hmm. including Don Julio. To, he don't fuck with some major people, some multi-billionaires. Mm -hmm. He don't mess with the wrong. You was they squishing him like an ant. They want all their money back and they getting it back. They squashing yeah, him they like a bug, man. But they gotta it, use his it. kids. They doing him a favor. He's already this lost millions since they raised. Man. And he realized that he out there by himself. He can't rock with niggas like that. It's over. He can't trust his kids. Probably, oh, yeah. I'm sure. Somebody's somewhere to be found. 
Meek Mill ain't picking up his phone. <laughs> Jay Z act like he don't know who Diddy is. <laughs> who? Did, did, he who? like Wesley Snipes. Jay Z said, "Did what? Who? Diddy who? <laughs> he just oh live snap! His life, man. Yeah, that's it. That's the <laughs> end of what? the story for Diddy. Diddy who? <laughs> his son's going right to take on top. Him. Right on top. Okay." Let's breathe. Let's recharge. Let's let's get ready for the second half of the video. Let's go ahead and just breathe it in. <sighs> Exhale it out. You're recording everything that's going on. Are you still acting the ass in front of this Fruit Loop? Oh, I'm pretty sure he told them about Little Ride. Like, don't do shit around Little Ride. <laughs> He's still up there wilding out. They ain't never gonna put the sisters on blast, and the reason why they ain't gonna do it. I'm sorry, they way too young to be dressed like America, that. Black America won't allow it. If they come out with allegations about this man's daughters, y'all gonna say people thought shaming or whatever. So they're not even gonna put them in the lawsuit. I'm pretty sure Lil Rod had them in the lawsuit, but they probably took it out for Oprah Winfrey Law. Oh, or some shit. The Gail Ooh. King Oprah Winfrey law. Oh, he broke up with that. You can't girl. speak about sisters like that. He what was else? young then. You, um, whatever. He was you creating trick. victims. I don't know what she was. Anyway, I know I sound like a hater, but she looks familiar, but I don't know her name. That's, I'm pretty sure his daughters got dirt on them too. Actually, I nah, know. I would think you kept I'm his daughters sure. out of it. Here with y'all. No. Oh, I don't want to see it. Yeah, I'll show y'all what time it is. And for them people that's calling me a hater and, a, you know, I'm just trying to find something bad to say about this is about King Combs. Because he's the tyrant. Hey, he's Shug, here's the other thing. I don't think I heard Jim. anybody say it. They letting y'all know what it's about. It ain't had nothing to do with Diddy like that. Sons them trafficking. It's sons them with the young girls. Bringing them to the house. Mm. It's his sons and them doing the stuff. Look at this, y'all. Accusations against the son. The lawsuit describes the December 2022 scene aboard a yacht in St. Martin. The woman worked as a steward on that yacht and says Christian Combs may have spiked her drink, groped her, and forced her to have oral sex. Her lawsuit includes photos of bruises she says. Now, hold up. What am I messing with them, y'all? Knock her head getting beat, but I don't know about being knocked out and having oral at the same time. I, I know they can put the mouth in it, but I don't know if you could participate <laughs> if you're knocked out. I right, don't know about right. that part. <laughs> but, but, but you know where they messed up at uh, on top of everything else? Not that this already isn't bad enough as it is. Uh, you know, they didn't stick to just black women. That's going to be their huge downfall. Mm -hmm. See, they were messing with them, with the with the uh, the ones that got the, the complexion for the protection. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. Uh, Moon used to say. So that's going to be a huge downfall for them. Yep. Yep. And that one was a bucket. That was a bucket. Yes. Yes, ma'am. See that? King Kong don't got aggressive with Becky. Then he got to pull that game from him. And she Dang, he just said the same thing I said. Society. Look at her shit. She got access to the party. Like, do you know the password? She oh, I didn't even see that. Like, I yes, seen that. I'm the I don't wizard know of the cloak of Mount Zaire. And the priestess of Salzman Gomorrah lets me into the freak off party. It, she ain't it got proof of him doing it. She, she ain't got proof of him. For the rave. Right. He touched me and he hurt me. King Kong's. King Kong. Is, man. Like I'm a beat to, to, no, Chris, like I'm a charge beat to it up. 
Now, yeah, something happened to Mama Baby Boy because he's the baby boy from the mother and the father. He is uh -huh. the baby boy. Uh -huh. There we go. There he go. King Combs. That's why she went off about that one. <laughs> he just can't let her go. Oh. Yep. He's oh. saying the same thing I'm saying. Just so he could touch the pussy. Oh. He just. Maybe let me mm -mm. touch the pussy. Mm -mm. She's like, hire lawyers. They trying to fight the machine because go right there. That's him. That is him. Who's that? He's sitting in jail right now for posing as a doctor. Says he still wants. He's sitting in jail. He gave people pap smears. He had an office. What? Oh yeah, this was a sick ninja. Florida team pulls a catch me as you can. Arrested for pretending to be a doc. He was all up in a coop. Mm. He was acting like a doc. He done did about 50 patients before they caught on. So it's he could have spent $30, $40 and got Black him a burn, prostitute, but no. He might not even That's be a real person. lawyer at the end of the day. And he's just making up shit as he go. Like... He working with Tiffany Haddish, and that's how you know he ain't a real lawyer. Her ass used to be on Skid Row. She'll give anybody a chance. <laughs> I see you out here on Skid Row, young man. The sky is the limit. Like, that's right. Tiffany Haddish put me in position. Who friggin' knows? But one thing for sure, this King Combs, he's a problem. It's not this, man. Turn that back. To expect from Blackford. This is exactly why the federal judge in New York slapped him two days ago for a pattern of behavior in improperly filing cases in federal <laughs> court to garner media attention, embarrass defendants with salacious allegations, and pressure defendants to settle quickly. And why he was referred to the disciplinary committee in the Southern District of New York. Oh. But Diddy's attorney says he'll be filing a motion to have the case dismissed. As for that, oh, they got they, they got them lawyers. Is good. Yes, ma'am. says, "Don't expect any possible charges to come anytime soon." The federal government works very slowly, carefully, methodically. They're not going to bring a case unless they think they can win it. So, therefore, it could be several months before we hear anything one way or another from the federal government against Diddy. They done tore that them lawyers up, Diddy so people. So they're saying that he got seven months off the hook. They doing their investigations, compiling everything together and seeing what they got. But by them announcing that, that y'all shouldn't expect anything no time soon. This is just a, what you call it? A public humiliation, a public humiliation ritual that will blow oh, over. She looks so pretty there. They're going to have to lay low for a little while. And Diddy going to have to, they gonna force picture, him to go into the shadows. They're going to force him to disappear for the remainder of 2024. No, he's he going to be out of here. Nah, he he see him that and somehow, some way, that King Combs is going to come back. He's going to be older and desperate women going to be lurking. And he's going to nah, have a new jam on the radio. Or he might be in a movie. So he gonna make a comeback. That's how it's gonna go. It's gonna be a thing of the past. He gonna talk about how he repented. Oh lord! He learned from his many many mistakes and how he found. The he lord. can't say that. Oh, then he gonna. God. That's talking guilt. And Diddy gonna be somewhere playing the cut, playing golf, living a boring life. I don't think so. Trying to stay under the radar. Me either. he going to prison. Uh, his son. Make a comeback. I don't know no if he's going to prison, but I don't know if he's going to be going away. They basically sitting him down, but they ain't going to take him out the game. But they is sitting him down and teaching his sons a lesson. Okay, in the I can believe that. So they I can, can, use I can believe that for the future. Yeah, that's what this is all about. They, they try to do that hot seat before. They try to do that to Nature Nut, but Nature Nut didn't want it. No, nope. he didn't he know asked to be put away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I ain't got nothing sweet. We're gonna have a little uh 
a little uh little break, a little 30 second break as usual. Oh, I thought we was going across the way. Now we're going across the street, right? Someone just is finished. Okay. Uh oh, where we at? Mm. Hold up, where we at? Where my little roller skating, Daddy? That is so cute. It is very cute. Wednesday, I'm gonna find out where you be finding this stuff. I found that from um, the, um, the, the late. Oh gosh, I, I, she better come back. I forgot her name. Oh, hold on. Where did it go? I didn't take it off. Oh, oh no. I got it. Ouch, dang it. Dang on cat. What's up, Carter? I'm sorry, Golden. I don't know why I always want to say hey to Carter. What's that, Golden? It will sound terrible. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought, I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, that out Chrissy Wayward, play. we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, where Chrissy all at, are this play. is war with the enemy, think that it was meant no to words be, no where's he shouting in a time where disease oh. is on every screen, I won't let them fester me, I know most are festering, negativity is a plague for the mentally weak, no mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quite the thirsty. I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic. You can't stop it. It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic. Go! Oh. I'm to last with the webs I'm weaving. I can change the past with all I'm achieving. Got my foot on gas, never stop competing. If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them. Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them. If you That like, that like. 
I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints, money, clout and fame, mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate, have to play the game, have to make a name, all our insecurities are on this display. This is war with the enemy, think that it was meant to be, living in a time where disease is on every screen, I won't let them fester me, I know most are festering, negativity is a plague for the mentally weak, no mercy, all I got is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty, I'm toxic and psychotic, with this logic, you can't stop it, it's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic, go! I will to last with the webs I'm waving, I could change the cross with all I'm achieving, got my foot on gas, never stop competing, if you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them, make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them, if you I definitely, I want to go on the gate too. Don't try to drain my energy, the enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily, spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me, I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity Come on, we can fight this, freedom is priceless Spread just like a virus, living in a crisis Do you feel courageous, do you see greatness Trust me, you can take it That track really just makes me want to get up and move or something, take something. in the game invest in my name check no restraints i'm obsessed All with right. the pain i ingest i retain assess and i change possessed by the thought i'll be free one day from society's restraints money clout and fame mud disease a plague we all love to hate have to play the game have to make a name all our insecurities are on this display. is war. oh hey 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 so we can go tinkle and do little things. I don't have nothing to miss. Yo, old girl in the green on the skating rink was getting it in. Got me and Jackie ready to throw <laughs> our skates on. <laughs> that we almost finished. Then we're going across the street because we're going to go back over uh, the test about this. But let's go. Boy, this ain't his first rodeo being on the front page. Yeah, man. Diddy made the front page on some horror American horror story shit. The Death Crush. Terror at City College. Yeah. You know, I mean, they got a whole documentary. Matter of fact, we need to tune into this for a little bit, man. I want to thank y'all for watching. We about to get into the rest of this video. It's not the problem. Diddy ain't never been a problem. No. It's the people around him that's the problem problem that allow him to do shit in front of their face and they ain't going money one time he wasn't diddy he was sean took advantage of diddy huh right what happened to sean well that's why that's probably they ain't got nothing they didn't prove shit they don't got no grammys they ain't got nothing all they got is clout they get around Diddy, trying to, he trying to be cool with them, 
when they not even worth being cool with because they ain't on his level with none whatsoever. He wasting his time dealing with them kids. <laughs> what the kids? Where he going, Daddy Kid? Need see this. He need to stop. That's it's too funny. He said he can't even breathe around them kids. <laughs> <laughs> You can't tell me that King Combs and Young Miami ain't have something going on. I said they look like a cute couple. I they did songs that. Uh -huh. they in the studio yep. together. They that show. They vibing with each other. They are they around the same age. It's not like and that is why before way, this with is the like Harvey girl. What Diddy did to Biggie by letting Faith Evans. Be with Biggie, even though he the one that discovered Faith Evans. He letting his dad be with his chicks. That's a whole nother level of controlling the situation, man. Uh -huh. He's in full control. He manipulate. He's been manipulating his father for years. Got him on the pink cocaine. This damn drug mule they talking about. This dude they caught at the airport, he looked like Diddy wouldn't even talk to him. But King Combs probably his best man. And I ain't trying to put that on him, but damn. Who said he was work? He was bringing shit for Diddy. If Diddy getting it, if they talking about Diddy getting it from Young Miami, he not trying to be involved with no shit. This look like somebody that either Justin or King Combs is cool with. One of they homies. I'm not wrong, though. They want to put the, the King hat on Diddy, but they got the wrong Diddy. Got a drug mule. He got 50 Cent Baby Mama. Need to see this. From Cuba Gooding Jr. to pink cocaine inside Sean Diddy Combs' circle of sex, drugs, and violence. He got fame with Cuba Gooding Jr., his famous pal. They match in freakiness. They said Cuba Gooding Jr. would get butt naked at a Hollywood party like it ain't nothing. I don't believe none of this stuff, man. Pink cocaine. How in the hell that happened? His daughters don't already found another baller. They gonna be all right. They gonna spend LeBron James's money via his son. They in the, they shaking it up. They came through. They staying it. It's it's late as hell. They staying the night. They probably laid up right now, rubbing on his chest. It's going down, man. And like I told y'all, this look like a couple that done already happened and they just playing his father. He running the show. The kids done took over Neverland. Diddy is delusional. He don't know what the fuck. Look how they had him. He got real swollen fat. They was hoping he have a heart attack. They bought her from Miami. She cooking all this soul food and shit. They was trying to kill him. So they could split the pie. They ready for him to go. But they must have forgot, man. That Diddy is not the dude that's going to go down easy, man. They must ain't know that they was messing with the diddler, man. As soon as they thought he was down for the count, he flipped the script and got rid of all them fucking kids, man. Once he tasted the poison and the Kool-Aid they were serving, that's when he got ignorant. Now his son in the news. Mm -hmm. He maneuvered the situation 
and body slam King Combs. He didn't know he was in a fight for his motherfucking life. King Combs won the belt. Diddy is the champ. His son. He want to compete. Compete in music. Compete in crime. Commit sexual assault. They want to compete in sexual harassments. They want to see who's the baddest. This is like a gunslinging showdown. Who can smack more bitches? Who can take the pussy? You would never be badder than me. I'm trying to let you know I'm the original. But what you talking about? You a bad boy. You ain't never did nothing bad. I've been bad. I don't did shit that you ain't never going to do, young man. Respect your elders. I paved the way. I made my way. People get scared when I come in the room. Heard about that lady. That guy. Don't play with me, man. You need to go swim and go back to bed and lay down and wait for me to tuck. Remember when I used to tuck you in that night? When you were scared of the boogie, man? Remember the night light? Oh, like, you no. Nope. that shit now. No. Nope. I remember coming nope. in there to pissy mattresses. Nope. How many mattresses nope. I had to buy, Christian? How many mattresses? Don't play with me, boy. You need to stay in your place. And I'm the king. I'm fucking King Combs. What you thought? You took my song. You're going to remake my song and tell me that you made a hit. No, nigga. I made a hit. I made. When you going to make your own hits? Matter of fact, give me my belt. No, stand still. Stand still. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take take that. Yeah, take, take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Now get the fuck out of my face. Talking about he a bad boy. Who you think he messing with? <laughs> well, he thought. Take him out of the game just to claim everything he ever worked for. King Combs. That's like. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, switch it up. Man, I don't know if we got any wrestling fans out there, but for the people that know what I'm talking about, y'all got to feel me on this, man. Remember Randy Orton when he was the legend killer? Y'all probably don't remember this, man. He was the youngest one to have a belt and they couldn't stand it. He was disrespecting his elders. He put Ric Flair in a goddamn stunt. He was beating a ass. He beat the shit out of the Undertaker and the fans was mad. He body slammed. As the one who procured the yacht, this woman claims that in late December, just days before uh, Sean Diddy Combs held this uh, big New Year's Eve party, uh, that the son, Christian Combs, who was in his mid-20s at the time, allegedly made unwanted sexual advances towards her and that she repeatedly told him no. And that at one point, things escalated so far that they were in a room, a theater on the yacht, allegedly, and that Christian Combs pulled his pants down and tried to uh, force sex acts on her. That's when in the lawsuit, she alleges that an individual came into the room and thwarted it. But, you know, she is suing for emotional distress. And in the lawsuit, she claims that she has, you know, this has really derailed her life and a relationship that she had with someone at the time. And that um, it's, uh, you know, that she's seeking unspecified damages and this could potentially go to trial if it does I read that she was 20. Come on, man. You want me to think they had some wholesome ass chick working the boat. She just wholesome. She in there with her hair in a knot. She got on her nun outfit and everything. She a missionary for the Catholic Church, making sure that they soup stay warm. But come on, man. You the non-freakiest boat stooders. Why would they hire somebody's nana to be on the boat with them if they ain't with the free? And the reason why I believe that it's a possibility that this woman was with the shits is because bro, is because get it together. Charge it up, bro. And I know I mentioned this before, but 
this the reason why I think that she was all the way with the freak, man. We got to find out what that symbol mean on her arm, man. She's a part of some type of society. She's a part of some type of club, some type of coven or some shit. Like, what does that even mean? Hold on. Hold on. Cultist. Wrist. Chat. Man, I call baloney. If they say something that we, we ain't got no secrets. Don't nobody got secrets. Who cares? They freaked off with some chick that was willing. They heard her moaning on the tape. Well, she was having a good time. Ain't like she was screaming and hollering. They gonna watch every last porno until they come across somebody that don't like it. Oh my goodness. Did you hear that? That was an enjoyable moan. Oh my God, it sounds like she's in pain. We're, we're on to something. All right, let's strap up. Let's go back in and get some more tapes. And another one. The squad team going to be on their way to Diddy House talking about it. And another one. They about to do a whole nother raid. They got T.D. Jake. How they going to sell the T.D. Jake sex tape? The power bottom freak off. Oh, that my be a God. Blast for me to... People would get out there and protest if they tried to do some shit mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. Like, how dare you? Them old ladies wouldn't allow it. I dare you put the pastel booty all on the damn thumbnail. That ain't right. They all messing with the Lord. They'll be throwing hot pies at the cameras and everything, man. Them old ladies show we almost up finished, with we them almost hot patty finished. pies, throwing it at the paparazzi. Man, how they gonna sell them Diddy Freak tapes? <clears throat> That's when things get crazy, man. Do y'all remember mm -mm. when Jim Jones? Was that had that hit record ball? That was it, and it was going viral, and it was all in the clubs. Everybody was balling. Well, it wasn't just you remember that. And him and Cam started beefing uh -huh. when they was cool the whole time. Uh -huh. As soon as he got a hit, that's when he started tripping on Cam. He was cool with Cam the whole time when Cameron was making hits. As soon as he got his own hit, the friendship was done. It instantly went to his head, man. And they had a falling out. And they still ain't right. He feel like he better than Cam. Mm -mm. Because he finally got a hit. One hit. And it wasn't just him. That's all it took, man. You can't trust somebody after they feel the juice. Once they start feeling themselves, it's game over. No about certain things like they ain't even even know like that. That sample was from Lil Kim and yeah, Lil yeah, yeah. Like a lot of my friends didn't even know that. Or like when they see the video, me and Kodak did. We redid the crush on you, Lil Kim. Ain't nothing that's gonna put somebody in jail. I mean. And it ain't looking Hold on, cuz we finished now. It's from Lil Kim and yeah, 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 yeah. Like a lot of my friends didn't even know I'm that. I'm get a nice so, like, little picture video, here. Me and Kodak did it. We redid the crush on you, Lil Kim video. I don't want his like mama him. in it. Okay, let's get this clear. So if the young generation don't have a but we got more and the way he been doing, unless. Yeah, pink stuff. That 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 the pink cat the pink zocane baby. They got the pink zocane is really seven hot now. We can go across the street, right? We can go across the street. So don't get comfortable. We on our way across the street. Yes, we are. But again, I'm trying to tell you guys. She said, "This is take that, take 
that, take that, take that, take that, take that season. Yes, it is. So we're going to go across the street. Our three hours is up, even though we're usually on here longer. But I got I have to go across the street. Yes, I have to go across the street. Y'all know what that means already. I got to go across the street. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She said, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm telling you, this entertainment business is exactly what it is. Right? My man outside riding his bike, telling people, pray for me. Pray for me. He want to see how far down with the people did his did he go. How far down with the people. So that's why he got to go out to see what people got to say. Do they still respect him? Do they don't respect him? Them parties is off the chain, y'all. The parties is off the chain. Don't forget tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. On the, I might do one once a week or twice a week. Only for my members. That is my members perk. Members are members for a reason. And I thank even every last one of you. I even thank my replay gang. I thank my chat. I thank my bush babies. I thank all of y'all. But we are finished with today. It, don't worry. I'm going to keep you up with the keep you up. Yes, I am. I'm going to keep you up with the keep you up. Don't worry about it. I got you. But you know how we got to end this, right? Let's go. Let's go. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, 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 hey,